get this. Let's get this ready to roll. Let's get this party started. Party started? Baby, I have a joke for you. Let's hear it. Joke for you. First off, can it? All right, ready? I wish we could turn my sound down. <laughs> we're gonna, oh, that, well, that's it. All right. So uh, we're going to get to the joke in just a moment. Just joke. Make sure everybody shows up. Good evening, everybody. Mary B. Aaron from Ryan. Alejandro. Jordan. Taylor Thornton. Mary B. I already said Jason. that. Tammy Wilson. Jay Thunter. Mr. Geek Me Out. Vegan the Vegan Satanist. Satanist. Larry. What? Larry. Christina. Hi, honey. Thank you. Hope love. you had a great week. Happy Halloween. Thank My you, Christina Perez. Hurt. What? My what? toes hurt. Why is your, why is your toes hurt? Because we were walking around all day. We went to an oddities and curiosity market here in Los Angeles the first Not time ever. A. The a. oddities and yeah. curiosity market. For the first time ever. And it was amazing. This is going to be a video coming. It's gonna be a, my toes hurt. We bought some really cool stuff that we're going to show you today in just a little bit. Yeah. A little show and tell, if you will. Yeah. But before we get started, you ready? You ready? You ready for it? Baby, where do you take somebody who was injured in the in a peekaboo Thank you, accident? Dennis. Where do you take someone who was injured in a peekaboo accident? Yeah. The I see you. Oh my God. Uh, you know what? I think that's the first time I've heard that joke from you. And <laughs> I was kind of, you know what? I was pretty caught off guard. Thank you, Albert. Albert, thank you. You're welcome. I see you. Welcome, everybody, to another that night. kind of creepy. Of Grim uh, All uh, Night. Basically, if you're old enough to remember USA Up All Night, we play movies very similar to that. Hey, Mark. Thank you. Slightly Mark. different, a lot different. Six, six, six. Right, Mark Z Hammer. Tip six, six, six. Grims go live. Thank you. You can tell who's old school, who's been here for a long time when they tip six, six, six. Yes. When you know, you know. Tonight, we are up. Nico. Nico Pluto. I truly missed you, weirdo. Oh. I loved you both. Happy. Ha. I miss you Louis. too, weirdo. Who are you calling a weirdo? Nico. Nico. He, we're, we're all weirdos. Tonight we are watching It, Chapter 1, which came out in the year 2017. The remake, obviously. The remake, obviously. Yeah. Uh, starring Bill Skarsgård as the evil clown alien oh, spider. Hey, Henry. Whatever you want to call him. Uh, we grew up. I'm sure most of you have grew up very with... Very nice uh, cast iron. With uh, Tim Curry. Henry, man. Thank you very much. This is going to be cool. Uh, we grew up with... Uh, um, Tim Curry as Pennywise. And you know what? Yes. I remember the first time that I ever watched it. He was kind of terrifying, yeah? Yeah, it was pretty terrifying. Yeah. Pretty terrifying. I was living in Zelianople, Pennsylvania. I was spending the you night at my friend's house. Place. His friend, My friend's name, ready Zelia for this? Zelianople, what? Jason Moody. Why do I remember that? Because you were terrified later? We were up all night watching it, and I couldn't sleep. It <laughs> scared the crap out of me. And uh, Tim Curry was a genius, is a genius. And uh, Always. I'm going to have to say this. I'm going to say it. I'm going to go out on the limb and say that the new, the remakes of It Chapter 1 and It Chapter 2, the first one is my favorite. Like the first remake, It Chapter 1 is of my the favorite. Two out remakes, of remakes, yeah, you out like of the first one better than exactly. the second one. Yes. I think I'm going to have to agree with you on that, actually. I think I do agree with you on that. We, I, I like the chapter one of the remake better than I like the chapter two of the remake. We have it on 4K, yeah. but we are watching it on Tubi, which depending on where you are in the world, you might not be available to you, but there's a good chance that you own it or you can rent it or you can find it for free. It is a doozy. Doozy. It is a doozy. So, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Vegan Satanist says, hell yeah, I believe it was the movie where they show the wrong arcade in the background. Wait, I'm missing something. I think it's a Mortal Kombat one, which hasn't built in a year, but I'm not sure. I went in oh, on that conversation. The throwback. I guess when they did the throwback, they put the wrong arcade in it. The year was off. So who here? Is this their very first ever Grim 
up all night watch party. Who here is what we like to call a grim up all night virgin? Say me or not. Don't lie. <laughs> Some people are coming in. Some people going slightly mad. You're a new name. Callie and T, welcome. Not me, me, Daniel, me, Eric. Wait a second. Me, 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 me. Look at all you people are like paying attention. Me, 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 me. Suck it, son. Suck it, son. That's from the TV show Psych. Here's how tonight's watch party is going to work. Oh, really? Yes. You ready for it? You ready for it? Yes. You need two devices. That's four. You need two devices. To watch tonight's watch party. One to watch us like you're watching right now. And the other one to watch the movie. Basically, you need two devices. A TV and another TV. A phone and another phone. A TV and a phone. Switch. A switch. You can play a PlayStation, on switch. Laptop. Two windows. Yeah. Uh, an iPad. Uh, whatever device. Two devices to watch isn't it, Merlin? us. I'm all huffed up. Yes, it's so coincidental. What's coincidental? That, uh... Other YouTubers are also doing lives at right this very moment. It is what it is. It is what it is. Coincidentally. Thank you all for being here. The link to tonight's movie is pinned to the top of the chat that you're all chatting in reading right now. It, it might be highlighted in blue. It might not be. It says, tonight's free movie. Do not watch it just yet. Mm -hmm. Cue it up. Hit play. Uh, hit you know, pause. It doesn't actually show up in mine. It's there. Or it's in the you. description. I think it's in the description of the video that you're watching right now. It should be in the description of the video you're watching right now. Can anybody confirm that it is in the description of the video you're watching right now? If Usually not, it's on it's Tubi. It's like at the top of the chat, but for me, it's not showing up right now. Thank you, Kevin. Love you as well. All right. Perfect. 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 Do not hit play. We're going to watch it in about 20 minutes. But we have a lot of news for you. We have some secret, top secret things that we bought today at the Oddities and Curiosities Market in Los Angeles. All my little toesies. Jessica's been snacking on uh, strawberries. No, strawberries. We just got back from strawberries uh, Los and Angeles. Chocolate. Uh, uh, we just got back from Las Vegas. And uh, we were there for a couple of days. We did a video. Um, a podcast on yeah. um, a nice little new podcast called Talks from the Crypt, like a little Tales from the Crypt, but mm -hmm. Talks from the Crypt. A we talked for three hours on this podcast. And I don't it know, felt short, right? I don't know if they're going to use all of it. I would imagine, yeah. But we had a really great conversation. The moment it goes live, we're going to start making posts about it. Yeah. Um, we don't really do a lot of podcasts or interviews anymore. And this guy reached out to us and he's done some really cool stuff. He's brand new uh, talks from the crypt. He's a very good guy. And uh, we really liked what he was doing. We agreed to go to Las Vegas to, to take a look at it. And in that Melinda Melinda! Johnson, welcome to the ghost club. We're going to talk about that in just welcome a moment. To your afterlife. Yeah. Right. Welcome to the afterlife. How does it feel to be a member of the afterlife? Probably pretty normal. Right. Now, some of you, if you follow us on social media or have seen our picture pop up on Ghost Adventures ah. fan pages, yes, that picture is real. Yes, it is uh, real. We have never in the past have uh, have gone to Zach Bagan's uh, his haunted museum. We haven't. We haven't. We have never been to Zach's haunted museum. They do not allow filming in that museum. So as a YouTube channel that constantly documents everything, it didn't really make any sense for us to go to that. A lot of whole kinds of reasons and stuff like that. But we were in Las Vegas. And um, all I'm going to say is this. Expect some very, very cool things coming this year. That's all I'm going to say. Use your imagination if you have one. I'm really happy we went to. Yeah, it yeah. was good. 
Uh, hey, Danielle. The museum itself. Welcome to your afterlife. Was beyond beautiful. Oh, my God. Beyond amazing. To even call it a museum does it a disservice. No. Yeah, it's not a museum. It's an experience. It is an experience. Every room that we walked into and we told Zach this, uh, this is exactly how we want our house to look. <laughs> and he yeah. kind of chuckled yeah. and he says, yeah, I kind of figured. So keep an eye out. Yeah. And uh, just uh, get, I know ready. That, uh, get ready. I saw some people talking before about how we said we would never go there. Not that we did, wouldn't ever want want to go there, but for the channel, you know, um, obviously you. we Who can't do content you? there or previously maybe. Anyway, but I remember talking to someone who had recently gotten to go and they loved it. And I was like, so tell me what it's like. And I know it's supposed to be like museum, right? Like, you know, I know there's going to be artifacts. Like what, what's it look like when you go through? I was trying to get a sense of um, what the place was going to be like. And uh, the way that they had described it, it made it feel nothing like what it actually is. So I got kind of like bummed out and I was like, oh, that doesn't sound very exciting. And that's kind of the reason why I didn't want to go before. I mean, I always wanted to go, but like if I was ever in the Henry area man. and actually had time to like throw Thank around. Thank you for being like, here and welcome to the afterlife. But I wasn't, we weren't going to travel to Vegas specifically to go, but if we were in Vegas and got a chance to go, then yes, you know what I'm saying. And my mind was blown away by this place. I actually am very excited to go back to this yes. place. I think I may have a new addiction. It's not only gorgeous, it's uh, filled. Filled to the brim. To the brim. So when, if you've never been there or if you have been there, every room that you go into, it, it's a guided tour. So they tell you some of them, like each room is themed to an extent. And they, they tell you it's a, a tour. But you can't help but like, look around you because there's so much stuff hidden in every corner that mm -hmm. it just, it just, it, it makes your head spin with mm -hmm. the stories, whether you believe in ghosts or not. Thank the you, Marco. stories Hi. in this place are insane. Thank you, Mr. Pellin. Hi. And I, I want to tell you this, just to get you a little prepared. If you have not yet gone and people who have gone, I think can confirm this for you. <clears throat> you will not, have enough time to see all the things in there because they're so busy um, that you don't get like a lot of um, like you don't get to just stand in front of something and stare at it for an hour. You know what I mean? Like you, it's no free walking. Like you said, it's a guided thing. So you definitely want to go back just to be face to face with some things that you think you may have not had enough time with before. I will say this. Jessica is right. It is a guided tour. So there's no free walking. Yeah. But there are instances where you can walk through parts of the house, parts of the museum by yourself or with the group that you're in without a tour guide. And uh, and this is not a commercial for it. I know it's going to no, come off just, as we're that. Really excited. You can, you can buy a ticket for it. But if you really want like the full experience, do the RIP. It's not much more. It's, like it's twenty bucks. It's not much more, but you'll get to see more of the mansion. And I felt bad because. At one point, I was noticing that there was a group of people that some of them had, the, they put everybody together, RIP, and then, or the VIP, as well as the regular admission. Mm -hmm. They're still in the same places. Mm -hmm. And then what they do is they let the VIP go and look at other things by themselves, and the regular general admission has to stand there and watch them. And I was like, oh, that's kind of yeah. weird. But they, they do tell you that when you're waiting in the lobby, they keep doing a call. This is your last chance, or yeah. you, you have X amount of chance left if you want to upgrade your ticket. It's not much of an upgrade. And there are, I forget how many rooms, but there's a handful of rooms that on a general ticket you will not be seeing. And the RIP people in your group will get to go through that you will not get. So there's nothing is hidden. Nothing's hidden. Nothing's hidden. Nothing's a, a, a catch you gotcha thing or anything like that. <clears throat> you have ample opportunity to upgrade should you choose. Um, and I, I I definitely think it's interest or it's worth it because you also get a free t-shirt at the end. Which and is kind of cool. Yeah. The, the Which upgrade is very cool. costs less than the t-shirt in, in the gift shop. So it's worth yeah. it. You know? so it, it. Yeah. If you're going to yeah. go and you're going to do the tour and then you're thinking about buying stuff, just, just do RIP. it because you get the RIP. Yeah. Just get um, the RIP. 
Now, Nico. before we go any further, Nico, Pluto, I've been away. You two are very fair, and I, I love fun. that about you. Well, thank you very Hi. much. Thank you for being fair. Love you both. We love to love give our both. honest opinion. Yeah. And if we, we're ever wrong about something, we'll say that we were wrong. Exactly. And we try really hard to have a, a certain respectful sense of, um, what's the word? Not clarity. Uh, 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 hand size. Not hand size. I talk a lot with my hands. Whenever somebody's like they're, they're being they're being truthful about it, uh, cl like clear. Another Just word for honest. the word clear. Yeah, honest, clear, honest. Uh, transparent, transparent, transparency. Yeah. With that being said, I always hate talking about this. I'm going to talk about it and I'm get it out of the way. This and that. Uh, first and foremost, everybody who just joined the Ghost Club, thank you so much for doing that. Thank you. Hi. Um, it means the world. It, it our our store has been shut down for a little bit of time right now because we're getting a whole bunch of new merchandise coming in. Whole bunch. Uh, we talked to a couple different people. T-shirts should be here any day. Um, not it. everything is going to be here at the start of February, but we are, are going to open yeah. the store at the start of February with new t-shirt designs yeah. and new things. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, the first week of February, the store is going to open up. Every single one of our videos on YouTube is free. You can watch them to your heart's content. Uh, there to are your ads. Heart's desire. Your heart's desire. Uh, YouTube. Thank you, Mark. Everything's monetized, of course, this and that. So um, we set it. YouTube throws ads on it. We let them deal with everything. Uh, thank you guys for just watching the videos. Don't ever feel like you need to do more than that. Follow what I'm saying? You never hear us say things like, if you like this video and you want to see more, bell. hit the bell. Become a subscriber. We'll say things like, tell your grandma about us. Keep it in the family. Tell your friends. If you don't like our videos, send it to your enemy. Your enemies might get a kick out of us. I like to think that we're trying to bloom friendships by, yeah. by convincing people not to watch it alone. Like scary movie. Yes, Chris Gray. Jessica does pack all the merch herself. I, I don't do. help her with any of it because I don't have the patience it's for true. it. It's <laughs> true. If you want to you help, might get some of my hair in your package. I'm sorry. If you want to help the Grim Life Collective out in any way, aside from just watching a video, uh, like I said, beginning of February, we're going to have T-shirts and stickers, all new stuff coming in. It's like a complete refresh of the store. Good eye, Mike. Good eye, Mike. Good eye, Mike. In the description oh, of every Lord. single one of our videos, we have links where you can order a cameo, where we will conduct your wedding or conduct your funeral or somebody else's funeral well he'll conduct your wedding yeah because apparently he can do that right uh if you want us to tell your enemy <laughs> how to make cookies properly so like you can legally do that we will right paul whitfield thank you, thank I you can. Paul. yeah he can legally conduct your wedding there but are ways to do, do the it. paperwork from so far away super chats you can become a member like everybody else but i know i'm talking about this I don't know how to get a PayPal button in the chat. But just, just know. They do take, yeah. We love does, the fact yeah. that you watch the videos. That's all we care about. I, I, it, I, I shudder. I cringe at the thought Ooh. of somebody saying, oh, the Grimms are, are trying to Yay. like do this or trying to do that or whatever. I don't care about any of it. I'm so glad I'm here at Mocaine. Thank you. Who are we? As as long as you watch the videos, that's more that that makes me more than happy. Everyone loves your hair. Thank you. You're welcome. If you see us at a convention, and you wait, in, thank you for waiting in line. Some of you guys wait forever. Human Jason, and you don't purchase a T-shirt or a print, and all you do is say thank you, Michael. Thank you, Jessica. I want to shake your hand. That makes it all worth it for me. I want to go with Michael Myers, dude. So there, I'm gonna shut up about it. I'm gonna shut up about it. What read that, Mr. Pellon? Had to ask who would win in your opinion, human Jason or Rob Zombie's Michael Myers? Oh. I, I'm, I think Michael Myers, Michael still. Myers. Thank you, Kelly. Michael Hi, Myers. Michael. Kelly Accord. I'm gonna shut up about the whole thing, Kelly Accord. Thank you. A hug you would be talking? better, huh? You were talking, I was talking. You said you were gonna shut up. You were talking. I was, I was talking hey. about like ways that people want to help out if they want to help Hi. out. <sighs> 
it's a stressful thing. Thank you, Chris Gray. Oh, Latest Ryan you, Gosling Chris. video proves you yeah. guys do this out of love and delve into the deep cuts. Thank you so much. Right? Like, I think Michael 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 Myers over Jason Voorhees any day. I just think that he he's shown in the movies to have more of a brute strength. Then again, Jason Voorhees will pick you up by your sleeping bag and whack you on a tree. So I mean, uh, I could be wrong. We knew that whenever we did the um, Dead Man's Bones Ryan Gosling video, that it was going to, nobody was going to care. It's a beautiful record. It's <laughs> like, a beautiful record. Some people would care. Some people would get excited about it. Yeah. But we knew that, like, it wasn't going to be something big. No, it's and not going to go viral. We spent like so that, much no. time because we love the band Dead Man's Bones. And we were, we are, we were joking about it, but we are big fans of Ryan Gosling. And it was mm-hmm. something that we did, something that we wanted to do. And it was a passion product project. And that's exactly what the Grim Life Collective is. So thank you. Now, do you guys want to see Chucky something special? We have nine minutes. Until Hello, the movie England. begins. Huh? Hello. Hello, England. We you were guys, dressed in you. Do you guys want to see something <laughs> special? Me? Is it me? Is Everybody. Me? Baby Goal, I laughed at that stutter just now. Who are we? Oh, thank you very much. Everybody that <laughs> says you. yes, yes, yes. Now, for this, we have to turn off all the lights. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. So turn off that light. You have the remote for that? You are correct. I do this down here. Okay. Oh, I'll have to. No, I don't think I have to turn my ears off. All right. You no, can't. you're good. We're right. here. Let's lean I in promise. here. Can you see us? So, we have a new obsession Magical. here at the Grim Life Collective. Should we tell them what it is or should we show them first? Show them. Okay. Hit the light. Bring it over, like right what? above. I so, love. this is the black light. Let's get really close. Ooh. Let's show it. So look at this. Look an extra look like spooky. A zombie. You do look like a zombie. I have zombie eyes. That's so we have discovered something pretty miraculous. Uh, we didn't discover it. We just found out about it and started collecting it. You don't have zombie eyes. I do not because you have brown I'm brown eyes. So well, because it's here. Bring it closer to me. There you go. Oh, wait. Ooh. Ah, you do. You do. Okay. All right. You guys ready? Sorry if I bonked you in the head. We started collecting. Mm, look at all my sunspots. Look at, look at everything yeah. over there. We have a lot of glow in the dark stuff in the house. We started house collecting. Nico, Nico, man, Nico, you're 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 like really dragging us out. I love you, weirdo. <laughs> you two have always been fair, and you always admit when you get something incorrect. Yes, thank you. That goes a long way with, I truly respect what you do. Thank I love you, your sweetheart. weirdos. Love you as well. I know my hair glows. You guys haven't seen this in a long time, have you? I haven't gotten a black light out in so long. We started collecting uranium glass. Mm-hmm. Do you know what uranium glass is? Well. It's made of scorpions. So basically, it is it is mm-hmm. glass that was made in, I guess, like the Depression era. Yeah. That has trace amounts of uranium that was used in it and they eventually stopped using it because they the, the, the united states government really needed to um collect their uranium for the manhattan project the the atomic bomb and certain Scary. certain glasses and uh plates and and glassware have existed have been saved so we started collecting them and we picked up a couple today the first one being this now, uranium glass glows, and that's why we have the black, the, light. the black light and the lights off. Because this piece right here, this is one of the cups. It's like a little... little it's you, a plate. A plate. You got all, three little dessert, uh, dividing areas. See what I'm saying there? And you move it over, move it into black light, and it glows. So we have this one. But not just this. We have another one. I'm not sure, but I think I read that this pattern is called the ballerina pattern, and I'm going to have to research that further to know if I'm correct or not. Now, are you ready for our pride and joy? So we found this today. This is um, supposedly the more vibrant 
the green is, the more vibrant the color, it means it has more uranium in it. And this is called a um a frog lady. Frog lady, yeah. So you can't really see the features on camera, but basically it is a That's statue right. of this woman. If I lean back a little bit, you can see her features better because she grows there you she go. glows very easy. Yeah. yeah. So here's me blocking the black light. And then adding it. So you can kind of see a little bit if I just kind of. Yeah. Now this. Now during daylight without the black light. It just looks like a Green clear glass. person. Yeah. Right. Radiated glass. Now what's what they call the frogs. Mm -hmm. Now if we look in here. You can see how there's different holes. Now basically this would sit inside another like a bowl. A serving bowl that was uranium glass Not as well. Not a serving bowl. A serving bowl. What is it? No. it's It would go into something. Uh, any kind of like a container of water to yeah. hold your flowers. And then you would put the flowers <laughs> serving, serving bowl. You would put the flowers inside here and it would stand up and you would have the flowers around. So they call, call the yeah. frog lady. So this here is... Uh, you don't find these very often. Very rare. Very Usually rare. The, the frog... They're not. It's not called a frog lady, but it's, it's a frog holder. I don't know why they call them frogs. Um, would be like just a small disc. So you could put it in a fairly shallow container with water in it so that your flowers could be arranged very fancy like. And they would also get a decent amount of water so they don't die off. It does look like your award. Right? It, it, yeah. I, 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 holding, I feel like it's like, a, like an Academy Award. Look at that. So yes. Um, go ahead. Let's, let's turn the lights back on. I'm getting a little scared in here. It's a little creepy because we have a lot of glow in the dark and a lot of like, oh, there we are. So yeah, here she is. Yeah. So again, turn that off. Let's see what I it looks like, like. It when I glow. Right. So there, that's how she looks without glowing. My eyes. So My our newest eyes. obsession, like Jessica, collects a lot of stuff that I don't collect, and I collect some Thank stuff you, that she doesn't really care for, but. We meet in the middle on a lot of things. Yeah. And one of them is uranium uranium glass. So <laughs> uranium. Uranium. At any time, Henry W., thank you very much. We're gonna try to collect this stuff as much as possible because we think it's kind of uh -huh. cool to have like a room dedicated to uranium glass and then like black lights everywhere. Yeah. And in case you guys are wondering what I'm eating tonight as my snack, it's strawberries. It's strawberries. And I've got turtles for my chocolate because you guys know... You can eat off those, Jem Luke. My favorite snack, probably ever. Well, maybe not ever, but I, I, I get periods of time where I'm obsessed with chocolate-covered strawberries, and they're becoming very hard to find. This is a plate. Remember I'm the plate here? I'm craving it. This is, this is without it, the glow. It, it, so it's very pretty. I it know. has like a very faint green color to it, but whenever the mm. black light hits it, it just it glows. Color, yeah. I love it. I'm, I'm so I'm so I'm so stoked. We went to the oddities market today because Jessica really wanted to go. She's always wanted to go. Mm -hmm. And then I found out that um, there's a certain lady that was there. We talk about we we shot a video today where we show this. And um, when I found out that a certain mm. Etsy store was there, I like your tattoo. Well, thank you very much. I had we we had to pick it oh, up. Hey, what well, Pam? Spiders. <laughs> <sighs> I've been by. Oh no! You know what? Stoic Path says, "Hey guys, did you check out the fall of the House of Usher?" Yes, we did, and also did. the pale blue eye, the no, big, not that one. big Poe fan here. Also, the glass rocks right up your alley. Shooting. I'll have to check out the blue eye one. Right. Um. Aside from being a Poe fan, we're I also seen a big Godiva in forever. Who's that? They said to check out the Godiva boutique, but every place hmm. we've gone to around here, because I always stop at all the chocolate counters, I don't do it anymore. I found one spot next to me that, that did it for like two weeks, and then they stopped. And I was like, why are you doing this to me? My eyebrows, somebody says I have very unique eyebrows. I feel like I have Grandpa Munster eyebrows. A little bit. You can't tell on the camera. What's your, what the hell? John Cavanaugh, you guys are a lot John! of fun. Happy Halloween. Thank Happy you very Halloween. much, John. <laughs> it is time for the movie. Does everybody know where the link to tonight's movie was? That first half hour went by really fast. Like, really fast. Does everybody know where tonight's movie is? The link to tonight's free movie. You shouldn't be watching it right now. 
We're going to start it up. Movie. The link is in the top of the chat. Mm. It is pinned there. And it's also in the description below. Once again, if you're just joining us, you need two devices. One to watch us talk. Or you could say, screw the Grimms. I don't want to watch them talk. I'm so sick and tired of them. Their channel sucks anyhow. You suck. You suck. Suck it. Suck it. Suck it. And you just want to watch the movie, watch the movie, and just have fun. If you want to hang out with us and say, screw the movie, I don't like clowns, you know who we're talking about. Um, you can just hang out with us. Either way, it's good. Come on. Get the cheese ready and your babies. <laughs> Did you see that Aaron said his daughter locked her room? <laughs> Tell so, her I'm so sorry. So Aaron, so Aaron sent us a um, a video after the last watch party where he went into his daughter's room and threw shredded cheese at her, and it was How amazing. Have sliced. Yeah. So all right, it's time for the movie. All right, I'm so hyper. Three, two. I'm gonna take a bite of chocolate and then a strawberry. One ice. hit play. I'm, I know there's going to be some ads. I do apologize about that. If you get lost and you want to sync with us, be in sync like Justin Timberlake and the other people who I don't think they really did anything other than like he was put in sync, right? Mm -hmm. Justin Timberlake was in, in sync or was he in 98 degrees? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> you I have no in, idea. If you want to be in sync with us, yeah. Just yell out tramp stamp. Yell it loud enough that one of two things Hi, happen. One, either your grandma gets really mad because she can't hear you. She has to turn up her hearing aid anyhow. Or the baby sleeping in the next room wakes up crying. One of the two has to happen. Right? <laughs> it's my peep in a box. Because we can't say that on up on Lake Moon. We're in rare form tonight. Mm. I feel like it's so dark. Do I need to turn the brightness up a little bit? Maybe. Let's see. Let me turn it up just by one. Okay. Oh, nope. That was different. That was the wrong one. Oh, shit. There's... Oh, no, I did it. I said... Hold on. I can't see my controls. You're making us go blurry. I'm sorry. Why are you so fuzzy? Oh. <laughs> All right. Is that so... better? No, it's not. There is better. It's better. No, All but right. the lighting was yeah. getting really dark. So I think from here on out, there's 608 people in this room tonight. You ready for this? I am going to ruin Please. your childhoods, ruin <gasps> your, your your days in, in one thing. Wow, from now that? on, every single one of you, we lost people. There's 519. <laughs> from now on, you, you are never allowed to call Justin Timberlake, Justin Timberlake. Why? Because we are changing his name right here. Well, I think he might have something to say. We're going to call him Justin Timberpuddle. <laughs> that face right there is why. Justin Timberpuddle. Listen. That's the, like Cumberbatch. The dad jokes are joking. Okay. Like, yeah. I got like chocolate or caramel stuck. The, I don't know who Justin Timberlake is. It's Timberpuddle. 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 All of a sudden, every time you see Justin Timber Puddle speaking, you're gonna be like, "Oh, that man has a crazy accident accent." You're weird. <laughs> Not Timber I can't take you anywhere. I know. That's why we're sitting at home. Shit. Oh damn. <gasps> oh, oh man. <clears throat> we're gonna get in trouble. It is what it is. It is Chocolate? what it is. We had a lot. Uh, so we had. A lot of fun in Las Vegas. Detroit Dabber 313. Welcome. Glad you're here. This is actually called Justin Timber Puddle Hour. No, it's not. Dad jokes on Cammy. No, Chris Gray, nobody has ordered a, a dad joke a thon on Cameo. I'm I'm actually crying myself to sleep at night, right? How many times am I wailing into the night? A lot. Right? I'm like, they don't like my jokes. Tear, tear. Shed, shed. <clears throat> oh, my God. What is your... Can, Christina, <laughs> the cameo link is in the description of all of the videos. <laughs> we did a cameo. We're sitting right here. Somebody did a cameo for mm -hmm. a birthday. And we get a lot of birthday cameos where, where we will sing. But I actually played the tune of the happy birthday jingle on my knees. 
I was like knee slapping it. Right? You were singing along. Like you was having no, a No, you didn't have any rhythm. That no way. I waited until afterwards. Man. Somebody asked if we were going to be going to Chicago. But it's so funny because I don't remember the movie being this dark in the beginning, like the the colors and stuff. Like we are going to Chicago. We're doing mm -hmm. Chicago Days of the Dead. We're also going to St. Louis. We're going to ready for it. You ready for it? You ready for this? The end of February. We are leaving Los Angeles. We are driving to Savannah, Georgia. <gasps> then from Savannah, Georgia, we're going straight up Uranus to. Nico! Nico Pluto. Thank you, Nico. He said that just as I said, we're going up Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Halloween, Nico. Surprise! From, from, your, favorite, from your favorite planetary system. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nico. Thank where, you, dear. Where are you from, Nico? First straight and up foremost. Uranus. Straight up your 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 want want. So once we leave Savannah, Georgia, we're driving straight up to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Some people call it Uranus. No, it's my hometown of St. Louis. <laughs> Don't take that away from me. Happy Halloween, Nico. From Pittsburgh, we're driving to <laughs> St. Louis. Then from St. Louis, we're driving to Detroit. Read Aaron's joke. Aaron, where are you at? In green. Uranus gets a bum rap? Your anus. Uh, uh, Come on, that was good. Uh, that was clever. Uh, uh, no TV dinner for you. You're going to bed hungry. That always cracks me up. When he whenever, hits his face. Whenever little Georgie's running after his boat. Because and look, there, there's two of them, and they're they're kind of close together. How did he miss the other one? We are, well, Clark Kent asks if we're coming to New Jersey. Maybe there's a very good chance that we're going to be coming to Edison, New Jersey. <laughs> For New Jersey Horicon, but I can't say for certain just yet. Prostate Cancer Awareness, sponsored by Grim Life Collective. After St. Louis, Dude. we're going to Detroit. And then from Detroit, we're going to Chicago. Ugh. So we got a lot happening. Nothing in Gettysburg. Hi, I'm so sorry. You can come to Pittsburgh, Brian, if you can. Big fan people. Lara Ville. Lara. Lara. Lara Lara. Lara Ville. Laraville. This is such. All right. Thank you, darling. Thank you. So, Bill Skarsgård has proven to be the face of like unusual horror lately, can, right? People with kids. Can I ask you a really quick question? He said he's three years old. Is that an accurate three-year-old? Because I don't know who. He just said he's three. He has old you, or he says he's three. He's not three. He don't look three. He's not three. Bill Skarsgård. Doesn't sound right. It. Pennywise. He's uh, Nosferatu, Count Orlock, in uh, the, uh, Peter Eggers. Oh, yeah. Eggers. Uh, Robert Eggers. Why did I say Peter? Robert Eggers, uh, this, Nosferatu. Right? Yeah. And he's also, you guys all know this, he's supposed to be Eric Draven in the remake of The Crow. Who says? It's all over the interwebs. It is. Yeah. Yeah. So I, he's, I too. It's, the, it's that weird, like, the, his eyes. I don't know. He's, he's kind of kooky. And kind of spooky, they go like this. right? So <laughs> this scene right here is, is absolutely terrifying. When he's this is definitely one of the best scenes. Off his arm, and he drags him. We're not there yet. Uh -huh. We're not. Ow! Uh -huh. Ow! Uh -huh. But uh, if you if you haven't watched this, then then then, then yeah. He Popcorn. rips off the arm. Pop Did you know that Las Vegas has an it escape room, chapter one and chapter two? Pop, 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 pop. I hope the Maxine trailer is coming in a couple days, Michelle. He's such a cute little kid. He oh, was. No, his eyes are wonky. He was a cute little kid. Well, Georgie's like rat food. Spoilers. Oh, come on. He just wants his paper. Oh, we did see him in Barbarian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot he was in it. Art Deco 1930 has uranium glass. <gasps> what is that? Art Deco 1930. I don't know what that is. But thank you, Trip. I'll look that up. Art Deco 1930. Trip dub. Take a picture. P P I. It's coming. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, guys. Here it comes. I took a picture. He's reaching in. Oh, his eyes are going red. For the boat. Oh. 
And when you're down here, you float too. Right? See, look. Okay, but when he bites down, his eyes went all like opposite direction. Where's his arm? He ate it. Here comes, this is the creepiest part. This is, all right, so this is Go Go Gadget arm. A lot of people don't realize this, but Inspector Gadget and it come from the same parents. This lady's like, I don't know what happened. A cat's like, I saw Go, it all. Go go gadget smart ass. Did I stutter? Man. Stutter. Poor Gregory. Why does Gregory have to go out like that? Gregory. Gregory. <sighs> Shannon Fitz. There is a Ghost Club Live going to be coming probably next week. When I say that, usually that means it's coming probably in the I next day the or two. You're going to see an advertisement Hooray! for it. So stick it with it. the original slasher film that there would be no Halloween without it. Do we agree that Hitchcock's Psycho was the original slasher film? Mm. That feels accurate. I don't know about the original because I have not seen a lot of the older black and whites and the silence and such. And I'm not sure if anything from that era had come out. Chris Gray, good question. Slasher? Because that is specific. I might agree to. I, I might. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I'm not gonna blow smoke. I um I don't even think about stuff like that. I couldn't even begin to tell you. I don't really consider Psycho a slasher film, to be honest. I think it's more of a psychological suspense kind of uh, thing. John Carpenter does, yeah. Candy is Danny, but liquor is quicker. But I don't know. What day will you be in Pittsburgh, Brian? Uh, we're going to be there for a horror realm. Oh, we won't con. be around It's a there. convention. It's a three day show in Pittsburgh. Happy Halloween. Love the original it, but we giving this one a try. Yeah. I hate remakes. You two are the best. Love you from Tacoma, Washington. Thank you, Thorns List. Thank you, Lawrence Thank List. You, one. Glad you're here. I have to agree. Remakes are never really as good as they the original. Rarely, yeah. Right? I mean, they at least put like a lot of money into this production, but I mean, it was, it was a good stab at it. I don't, I don't think it was poorly done. Christina is going to be at Horror Realm. It was kind of like a, a one for one. Can't wait to meet you as well, Christina. Psycho is more of a thriller than a slasher. Exactly. In my opinion. I mean, everybody thinks something different. I would have, well, I mean, I guess it can be considered the original slasher because of the use of the knife and the way that they portrayed the knife, especially in this shower scene. I think the original Psycho is a rom-com. <laughs> right? It's 100% a rom-com. And uh, it was just, uh, yeah, think about that. Think about that. Brian Dorn. Wow. Hey, Brian. Brian. Good evening, my grim friends. While in St. Louis, did you ever visit the Lent Mansion or Exorcist House? Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. I love you for saying that. See you down the road. Yes, we spent a couple nights at the Lent Mansion. We did. Um, we did do a video at the Exorcist House. We did. And we also did a video on the Lent property, uh, the Lent haunted the house. The tunnels. Yes. Sort of. But also the haunted house, the lump haunted house. But did we do part of that one or no? What? So the lump used to have its own haunted house. Yes. We but did I don't a... remember if we did the lump haunted house or if we just did Lenny's. We did. We did the darkness. We did the lump haunted we house. Lump, yep. And we also did. Um, what's the one where it's like through the woods? In St. Louis. Yeah. Through the woods. Yeah. Well, come on, guys. There's the darkness. Oh. Uh, Larry's other property. Yeah. App. Oh, Larry's gonna be so mad at me for hate for not for for uh, blanking on this. Uh, oh my uh, god. Uh, creepy world. Okay. Wow, I can't believe we forgot that one. Sheesh. That that should have been like the easiest. <laughs> but it really, I really did lose it. It's so what you know what Michelle. 
Cazares, Cazares, is it cold in LA? I'm so cold in my hometown. Ugh. Um, it's it's been a little chilly. It's it's, chilly. it's raining right now, so it's not really that cold. Uh, Lady Raven nine one eight. I like Bill Scars Guard, but I'm not wild about the idea of a remake of The Crow. The original is one of my mm. favorite movies and was the first movie I watched with my husband. I have to agree with you, Lady I Raven. I think most people agree with you. Um, there, yeah. I, I hate thinking that only one actor can be a certain character, especially whenever it's it's a based off of a comic book or it's a movie character. But I think that everything that happened, I mean, Bruce, um, Brandon Lee played it so well, and his death was was absolutely Not just nightmarish. Him as the character, because people did play it after him. Granted, the movies weren't made nearly so nicely. You know, they had the sequel degree to them, um, but it was it was the the way it was shot. The score, everything. Well, I, I think whenever I think what's important is when the crow came out. Oh, I think it when it hit theaters, people who were alive, uh, people who were like that right demographic, like we were, yeah. that went to go see it. Yeah. It was like the movie of a misfit generation, and I Agreed. think that it like it's it cemented itself to this point where anything other than than Br um, Brandon Lay is just sacrilegious, if you will. I mean, there's a lot that they could have done. They could have made it like exactly like the comics. They could have made it like 15 so minutes, 20 seconds. Exactly to the comics that it would have been a whole other film and still had a great movie. But who knows what's going to come of it. And, yeah. I and somebody said the music was amazing. To the it Waverly is. Hill Sanatorium in Kentucky and Art Deco 1930 is a website. Thank you. I did take a screenshot of that. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Trip. Um, Raymond says, huge fan, paranormal skeptic who wants to believe, but more science-ish. Do you mind sharing your opinions or ways to change my mind? Haha, <laughs> thanks. Uh, very good question. I will say this. Um, it's hard to change someone's mind. Until it happens to you, you'll never be a true believer. Pretty much. That's, and yeah, accurately put, sometimes yeah. people will wait a lifetime if they even get anything like that. You'll, you can always believe. You can always want to believe. Mm -hmm. But until you're in that situation, and most of the time, whenever something paranormal or above normal happens, when it does, you won't notice it at first. Usually it's like, wait a second, what just happened? And then it really sets in, and then it kind of catches you off guard. Yeah. Um, so I will say this. If you want something to happen, pay, it, pay no attention to the naysayers who are like, if you look for it, you won't find it. If you want something to happen or if you want to explore that, go look for it. The world is a, is a magnificently huge place. Oyster! And uh, you might surprise yourself with what you find out there. Somebody says, what are you writing? writing. That, you're no that they are nosy. Christina is nosy. Christina says it herself. Laugh out loud. I am nosy. Well, Jessica is playing... A game. I am. There, there's an event going on, and I'm trying to catch up in it a little bit while we sit and talk, and hoping that it'll make some some difference. So, but yeah, she she behind. does these these games that have like these timed things, and it just so happened that one of the the timed events it was happening today. It was happening today, so she's kind of panicking. But that's okay because I'm putting it down now. It is what it is. Because I'm gonna have more strawberries. These things are so good. I love strawberries. She's writing Tramp Stamp. Tramp Stamp! 17 minutes, 45 seconds. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jeremiah Johnson. I I don't know why. I saw that this whenever we were setting everything up, I turned to Jessica. I said, I, I think I screwed oh, up no, something gross. whenever we did this. There is... I thought I had yeah. all that stuff turned off for right now. Probably not. Let's see here. Hold on. Let's see. You're going to come back in. Mine froze. Let's see if it's still freezing. Bear with me here. I'm going to check it. Choose. It's buffering. Yeah, it's buffering. It just straight up died on my end. It looks like this is buffering for somebody. Jessica's sitting right next to me and she's yeah. buffering. 
And then somebody said it started buffering, and then an ad came up. I finally watched The Crow. I've only even seen Wicked Prayer with the one with Ed Furlong, Tara Reid, and David Boreanaz. David's outfit slays in that movie. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lindsay. Can you guys still hear us, by the way? Can you? Are we still here? Is it? Are we on? Can you hear us? Can you see us? I don't even have a chat. See if it refreshes. I did. I completely exited out. I first watched end. you both two Halloweens ago going through the haunts. The vibe is cool. Well, thank you very, very much. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, which reminds me. It does say video will play after an ad, but I don't have an ad. But there's no ads. There's no ads. There's no ads on. No. I just double checked it. There should be no ads. But it shows it at zero. So like maybe something changed and it made a glitch. Two years to... ago, okay. we did the 13 scariest haunts across the United States. Okay. So if you guys are having a really bad problem with yours buffering... Um, I just had to close out of it completely on my end and uh, force close YouTube. It's a YouTube problem. And then just come right back into the chat and it's fine. See, Kylie says, I've had two ads so far for you guys. And then it froze and it stopped. But you guys are okay now. Yeah. There should be no ads. I'm Af actually in an ad right now. After this ends. Yeah. Is whenever ads are supposed to start on it. But I have it set to manually not have any ads. So well, see, some people said they have no issues. Even when we set that as a setting, YouTube overrides it. YouTube puts ads wherever they want. It is rarely ever up to us where the ads are or how many, etc. No Talk issues here. No. Um, so two years ago, we traveled the country. We did 13 of the scariest haunts. It was one of the most amazing experiences we've ever had. And I'll tell you why. Last year... Uh, all right, so before I get into last year, when we did those haunts, we created these these amazing relationships with a lot of haunt owners and a lot of haunt actors. Uh, Trans World Halloween and Haunt ha Show, which happens in St. Louis, they invited us back this year for it, and uh, we created the whole we created this this amazing video series that went behind the scenes to show how the art how how people chose to scare you through the beauty of the haunt. And some of the, the videos we did, we interviewed or also included Tramp some Stamp. of the, the haunt actors. Tramp Stamp is 21 minutes, 25 seconds. At the end of that year, two years ago, people asked us, we got emails out the wazoo. I'm talking like more emails that you could shake and an Avidi Kadivi stick at, right? See what I did there? Okay. Right. Wow. And uh, people saying, can you come to my haunt? Can you come to my haunt? Come to, can, can you come to my haunt? And we said, no, 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 no. Not that we didn't want to, but we decided that for Halloween last year, we were going to leave the country, which we did. We were gone for like three months. Mm -hmm. This year coming back for 2024, we are going to be here in the United States for a good deal of the Halloween season. Mm -hmm. We have already started talking to some of the scariest haunts in the country. Scarier than the ones that we showed in the past. And uh, I think there's four that are already con that are already confirmed on the list. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're already making plans for that. And we're trying to get more. So get ready. We're going to go deeper and darker into some of these haunts. And mm -hmm. uh, a few of the haunt owners. There's we, a little battery back here. When we reached out to them and told them what we wanted to do. And they said, um, I don't know if I can let you do that. Because <laughs> it's just, there's a lot of crazy stuff that we have planned. And uh, we got permission. So we have some stuff coming this year for Halloween of 2024. And uh, if you thought... Our haunt videos before were insane. Prepare thyself to crap thy pants. I like that. Crap thy pants. <laughs> Man, I love strawberries, but the thing that you hate about them, I'm, I'm experiencing right now, is all those little seeds. <laughs> I got little seeds stuck in my teeth. I don't like that feeling. A terrible. So I will say this. The four haunts that we have pretty much confirmed are all in the northeast part of the country oh. so far. 
We're, we are looking for more. We are looking for more. Haunts. We've had a few different haunts reach out to us. So we've been talking with them and they've been sending us videos. They've been sending plans of what they're mm. doing. We've looked at different things and we're being very, very, very selective about what we do. All I'm saying, Charlie, Charlie, all I'm saying Charlie. is it's up in the Northeast. What is that? That's my, I crap my pants. Oh. I crap my pants. Tomb with my son's mom is pretty scary. I think that's time. Time with my son's mom. Time with my son's mom is pretty oh, scary. I like Tomb. That was kind of fun. Charlie bit me. <laughs> Guys, think of City of Angels Crow 2. I I mean it wasn't great, but like I didn't think it sucked that badly. I tend to love trashy movies from that era just because like I don't know, there's just something about the quality from back then. It was awesome. So real quickly, real quickly, they're in the scene right now, um, in the school scene where one of the most terrifying parts of the movie happens. And I mentioned earlier that we did a um that in Las Vegas, they have the it escape rooms, escape yes. it chapter yeah. one, chapter two. We did them. We're friends with the owners and uh, we were there. We got to see them build this. And when, when we were down in Las Vegas uh, last week, we actually got to go through it and play it. And it was, it was fun. Ooh, it was amazing. Ooh, 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 ooh. They actually have screen used props from it. Chapter one and it chapter at two at the end. At the end. And, uh, Expect a video to come very soon. That's all. That's it. That's it. Give them little secrets. I think they had like all of the bikes. They had all the bikes, including Silver. They, they had, had some screen used costumes from. They had Lies. the sewer costume that Scars Guard wore. I forgot what the other pieces were. There was the the postcard that he was just reading in it, where um, yeah. uh, the little love letter. Yeah. <sighs> Have a good night, Henry, man. Have a good night. All right. Yeah, this scene here. Like, Ugh. I'm telling you what. Like, I remember watching this yeah. in the theater and going, oh. it gives you the creeps, that's for sure. When he the, chases them down the steps. The When they do the stuff with the balloons and whatnot, and it's like a precursor to something bad. Mischief creepy. to I, I, I think it's done really well. See. Right? Oh, God. I got goosebumps right now just thinking about this scene. What is on the stairs? We are at 26 minutes, 50 seconds. Is that an egg? It's been a while since I've seen this. Is that an egg? I'm confused. Don't mind me. I'm just going to walk right over this weird egg that's burning from the inside out. Gives you the creeps. This is the scene that 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 we actually sticks have with not me. been to the Golden Tiki, and you're not the first one to bring that up just in the last few days. Uh, I am just now learning about it, so we're Here gonna goes. check it out. Ooh. Nope. What was it? Oh. <sighs> Oh, he's dropping eggs. Ah! Goosebumps. Goosebumps. He's just like calmly standing there. The second I would have seen that kid had no head, I would have been gone. Brain, look at Are that. Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm not waiting for it to get all the way down the stairs and closer to me before I start running. Uh-uh. <laughs> Why is he egg boy? Egg boy! Someone remind me why. <sighs> Ghost bumps. Gina hasn't reached the school scene yet. I'm sorry, Gina. Go 
ghost face lives hello guys i love your videos especially your true crime videos and i have two questions will you guys have any more true crime videos coming out and will you ever do one on the atlanta child murders uh there is we were just talking about this earlier we have i think four serial killer true crime videos coming out in the next couple months big big ones and a lot of true crime stuff coming. So keep an eye out for that. As for Atlanta child murders, maybe, maybe we shall see. But we don't have any and we don't have any plans of being in Atlanta right this minute, this year, 2024. Yeah. Nope. The God Fed. Thank you. I know about your channel from the raft video. Ooh, creep show two. That was a good one. Um, That creeped me out as a kid. Love from Brazil. Hi, Brazil. I've watched all your videos since then. I'm glad you are here. God Fed. And, uh. Happy Thank Halloween. You, Gina just reached the school scene. You're good. You're good. I think instead of kicking himself over the railing, he should have kicked that guy in the balls. It's all good, Gina. Is right. it your favorite Stephen King film adaptation? Mm, Man, nah. no. I would say, nah. as much as I would love to say Christine, I'm going to say Pet Cemetery. I would say Pet Cemetery for me. Don't judge me on this. You know what? You can judge me all you want. I don't care. I have never read any of Stephen King's books. They're they're as much as I love Stephen King. It's a yawn fest. <laughs> and that's fine because I read like all of Anne Rice's the books. The Shining's and, good. And the same. He was a, she was the same. The Shining, guy. yeah, the Shining. I read all of Anne Rice, and she she had a a, a tangent. She liked to drone on. Also, The Shining and Pet Cemetery are my favorite. The best book of Stephen King's that was easy to read for the most part was Misery because it read like a screenplay. But for a lot, uh, um, Stephen King can kind of get very uh, long-winded, if you will. Anne Rice was long-winded. I didn't mind it. Maybe it's because I was younger when I read it. and There was... I thought it was great anyway. I remember, the, I think one of the very first books that I read from Stephen King wasn't really a book. It was a short story. It was called The Long Walk. Someone else mentioned that too. The, the long Weston walk? in Vegas has a Halloween themed suite. Would you ever do anything like that? Ooh, you don't yeah. say. Heckins, yeah, Lindsay. Thank you, Lindsay. I'm going to take Thanks a screenshot of that too because I've never heard of them having a Halloween suite. I want to see a Halloween suite. Can you do a video on Bohemian Grove? Juan Garcia. I would love to. We looked into it and you might see that this year. I just did it. What? Easy come, easy go. Will they let me go? Bismillah. No. Let me go. Michael, this is from Who Are We? As a young guy struggling to meet the one. I think he's talking about Neo from the Matrix. Ooh. Is there any advice you have? Thanks. Yeah. Uh, Follow the light rabbit. So the, the Matrix, you could probably purchase it or rent it on social media. Uh, I mean, on, on a streaming device, Follow unless it's for free on something you subscribe. But um, Keanu is the one in the Matrix. I, I, I would probably watch that one first and then maybe part two, part three. You get a little worse, but part one with Keanu as the one is the uh, yeah. I, I, I that's that's what I would go with. Oh the oh the one like like in like love as in love. You mean that puke emotion that most people feel when they go. Uh, 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 uh. We're gonna make somebody throw up. Right. <laughs> Advice to find the one. Trust your gut. Now, here's the thing about this. Depending on how old you are, your gut will lead you astray. So it takes time. It takes time. Trust your gut. <laughs> Gag reel. <laughs> Always be true to yourself and how you feel. Mm. Try really hard not to... Um... What's the word? Give in. Sacri... Yeah. Don't comp don't compromise too much when it comes to mm. yourself, right? 
if it doesn't feel right, don't force it, it. Yeah. Like, don't waste your time on people that you're trying to force a relationship to work because those never work out, whether that's now or 10 years down the road. You really want to just try to find somebody that you feel comfortable with and you can be stupid around, feel weird around. Whoa, and, are you calling and, me stupid? Yes. No. <gasps> I thought you were going to say weird. Oh, I thought you were going to say weird. weird. Are you going to call me stupid? No. Smack you tricked me. I didn't trick you. Yeah, you did. You, you would, jumped the you gun. Would, I did. Yes, I did. I did. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, that's the best piece of advice we can give to anybody. A lot of people try to force relationships and make them work. And my entire life, I felt like I did that. And things always got really, really volatile. That's not good for anybody, either side. And so me and Michael didn't meet each other until I was 35. <sighs> We were going, we're going to be married coming up on seven years. What? In May. What? And so I'm, I'll am i be 42 in April. Within six months, Michael and I were married. When you know, you know. If you've got to force something or y'all ain't getting along, you need to just reevaluate everything because that's not fair to you. That's not fair to them. Done. 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 <laughs> We were actually, we ran into some friends today that, and just in conversation with uh, different people, we're seeing a lot of, of people get divorced after 25 years. Right. You I know, mean, it's uh, after 13 years, after, after long hauls. Like we are not marriage counselors no. or we're not perfect at this, but I, I really think that like the trick is, you know, compromise and meeting in the middle. I'm not yeah. to say compromise. I'm gonna say meeting in the middle yeah. of things is is the key. The moment you start, what Ted the Johnson, frick, Ted, holy, you almost made me cuss. Holy, you cannoli. almost made me light this place up. Listen here, stinking Lincoln. What is wrong with Al? Listen Enjoy here, listening sir. To you both. Good night. Thank you, Ted Johnson. Have a wonderful evening. Good night. Or maybe it's a good night, like a mic left. drop. And I, thank you, Ted. That is very. Mwah. Thank you, Ted. Mwah. I I really feel I and cheese it. I'm gonna stand. No, I don't feel cheese it. Cheesy. I re no. Oh, okay. I really feel that greasy. I do it. all the time, all the time. A cheesy and a greasy, and I love you. I love you too. Okay. One Compromising and it. meeting in the middle are two different things. That if if you're in a relationship where you find yourself being constantly disappointed because you're giving in and letting somebody else uh, win. Win. win, you know, win, so or to speak. Or somebody else always gets their way and yeah. you feel like what you're interested in then, or you're... Then, it, like, resentment yeah. starts happening. Like, yeah. it, it really is like a, like, a, like a team. You both have to work yeah. together and you have to be very open about it. And the moment you... When you start not doing that, I think... Whether it's a year, six months, or twenty-five or thirty years, eventually it's going to break, mm -hmm. and it's going to be a wreck. You're not going to be able to fix it. One um, thing that I, I I think is maybe important that people don't discuss. Ted, you're you're is, crazy. Thank you, Ted. You can have similar interests, and that's fine. And you can have no similar interests, and that's fine. But make sure that you know what is important we have shame, to you. Borgia. So let's say that you meet somebody and you guys have no similar interests, but man, you really dig this person and you know they're super attracted to them or whatever. Make sure that on both sides of the relationship, you're okay with that dynamic, that you end up that you're okay with either doing things by yourself or do you need to always do things together and vice versa? You know, do you need your alone time more? You know, map mapping things out like this in a relationship, especially early, making sure that nobody's feelings get hurt by a misunderstanding is very important because then you don't realize 10 years later, you know what? I feel like all the the fun or whatever has gone out of our relationship. Didn't we used to do X, Y, Z? Oh, you know what? I guess we never did, but I always hoped we would. That's where resentment starts sitting in because then you start bringing things up and then the, per the other person might feel like you're trying to change them or something. Like there, there's, there's a lot of communication that should always be happening and, in a relationship. And be realistic about it. Yeah. Because you are going to hurt the other person. You are going to say something. You are going to, I mean, things happen, you know, but you, 
the, the, the thing is to be there and to be there with all of your heart mm. and just keep moving forward. You know, like there's that whole saying, and it always bothered me whenever somebody says, you know, um, I want to say it always bothers me, but that old saying where it's like, never go to bed angry. Never go to bed angry. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, don't let, don't let your paths stray I'm sorry too to hear far about apart. Your loss, Kenneth. It's enough. As we're all giving advice, Kenneth lost his wife yesterday. So our condolences and our sorry, heart Kenneth. goes out with you and, and, and we send you our love. Well, from, from our family and everybody here who's watching, that's a part of the Grim Life family. Uh, we're here for you, man. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. But what just if you can't swim? Swimming, swimming, swimming. Just, just keep standing. Swim, just keep standing, swim, standing, swim. standing, standing, standing in the pool. Aww. He says she was a Grim fan and she used to watch with him all the time and he bleeds Grim. Mm. Thank you, sweetheart. And to your wife as well. If you can't swim, float. 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 We well, all float why would you here. say that whenever there's a movie where we all float down here? We what is wrong with down here. Man, go home. You are home. Calling it a night. We'll try to make Chicago, but not sure due to filming schedule, which mm. I thank you for starting me on your Saw video. Good night. Good night, Brian. Brian. Hopefully we see you. Ho well, yeah, hopefully we see you, but at the same time, hopefully we don't see you. Hopefully you're doing some cool Get out stuff, there, man. act, be in the yeah. movies, and have some fun doing it. Much respect. Very okay. proud of you. Brian Collier. Hey, Dobbin can you guys house. check out the Dobbin House and maybe Eastern State of the or the Mifflin House? Eastern State Penitentiary. I'm wondering I'm if that's what you're talking about. about. We I reached out to Eastern State Penitentiary while we were in Philadelphia back whenever we did the Gia filming look, the, the Gia grave. And Eastern State Penitentiary made it very clear that they did not want us. They were not interested yeah. in having somebody come in and document yeah. their video. So Boo on Eastern State. It would have been fun. Connell it's a very says cool place. Tim Burton, Joel Schumacher, or Chris Nolan Batman. And I'm going to have to say Tim Burton's Batman. Tim Burton. Mm -hmm. Tim Burton. Mm -hmm. Because I don't care how good of a Batman you ever make, nobody, and I don't even nobody, is going to beat Batman 2. Batman Returns. As for I the said what I said. The Mifflin House and the other one? Possibly. We'll look into said it. said what I but said. But I think Eastern State is a, is a no go. Crypto Monkey. I love your content. Thank you. Thank you. Love and best wishes from a very warm and sunny summer here in Western Australia. Well, darn. Good eye, Mike. <laughs> Thank you, Crypto Monkey. One of these days, I'm sorry. Oh, is this the we blood bathroom scene? We don't. Oh, I love it. The one's so creepy. We don't say one day around here. We don't say one day. We know we're coming to Australia. We don't have a date set yet, but we will absolutely be venturing to Australia at some time in the future. Good evening, Michael and Jessica. I want to hear something? Hey, I cool. live in Hollywood when too. When you guys were doing the filming location for hey. Silent Hill, I seen you guys by the electric electric diner. I was having dinner in there. Cool, huh? Well, you should have came out and said hello. What the heckins? Gonna sneeze. Wait, the Silent Hill filming locations, wasn't that in a... Uh... <laughs> Canada. Canada. Here, shake my hand. No. Give me five. No. Give me five. No. Slap it. Give me some five. Yeah. No. Yep. 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 Come on. Look. I wiped it off. <laughs> no, you didn't. Okay, now I have five. <sighs> Achoo. Ah! <laughs> cooties! Ew, cooties! Uh. You guys mean the world to us. Thank you. It's true. You do. Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla. Danny DeVito, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Christopher Walken were amazing villains in that movie. Do you know what one villain I wish that they would show more of in the Batman universe? Ooh. Scarecrow. Yes. I think Scarecrow I, yeah. is terrifying. They did him dirty in that movie. Especially as Cillian Murphy. Like, you had Cillian Murphy on your film as a Scarecrow, and you didn't even... Listen, I got a bone to pick with you. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. 
Weird science. Bing. Wait a second. Michelle Pfeiffer with Catwoman? I'm so kidding. I know. I know. Do you have a favorite uh -huh. Valentine candy? Reese's Pieces. Um, I mean, they kind of turn all candy into yes, all tramp stamp, Christina. candy. I don't think there's a candy that specifically comes out for 15, Valentine's 44, Day. 15. Aside from the heart messages, that's, Hello, the only, that's the only one I can think I of. I hate those. They're okay. They're I mean, chalky. I don't love it, but... Tommy McGuire, Andrew Garfield, or Tom Holland? For what? For Spider-Man. I'm going to go with Tom Holland on that one, I'm going to go with Tommy McGuire. He has oh, bug eyes. I hate doing these, like, this or Who that. Knows? Just had an ad. Garrett, I'm so sorry. Mmm, chocolate-covered strawberries. You're welcome, Jamie. We find that... It the the horror community really. We were just talking about this today too with some people at the convention. That the horror community is some of the nicest people that you'll and supportive people. We all want to see each other do well. You know, there's a lot of small companies and shops and stuff like that because it's it's. I can't think of any. I'm not counting Hot Topic, um, mainstream horror shop per se. So it's a lot of small companies. And we all want to see each other succeed. We really, really do. And we, we support each other the best that we can. But not only that, but like, we're all misfits, I think. So we're, we all just kind of like have this natural kindness for the most part. That's not true as for anything, anywhere, ever. But in our experiences, we've seen, we've met way more sweethearts and we've met buttheads over time. Over time. Over time. Over time. Any plans for a John Wayne Gacy video? Hamp Connell. Yes. We do. Have, all right. So. Who told you? I was just thinking about this. We we have been in Chicago a lot. And everybody always says, you guys need to do a John Wayne Gacy video. Do a Gacy video. Do a Gacy video. Do a Gacy video. And everybody who's ever done a John Wayne Gacy video has stood out front of the house. Well, out stood in front of the house that now stands where John Wayne Gacy was living with the crawl space. And they point at this house and they go, well, it's not here anymore, but this is the house that where it happened. Let's talk about John Wayne Gacy. And they might go to a bar or something like that. Everybody does the same video. There's really nothing to see there. We've been putting it off for the longest time. And then we had an idea. Uh -huh. So we reached out to Bienvenue. a few different people who are Gacy experts in this country. And we have put together a very interesting John Wayne Gacy video in a way that nobody has ever seen before. And that is going to be coming very, very soon in the next couple months. So when somebody said if there's any true crime coming... Uh, the John Wayne Gacy video is one of them. And uh, I have a feeling you're going to be surprised with what we have uncovered, so to hey, speak. Dee Dee. And I might as well tell you guys this as well. Another one that we get asked to do a lot is Jack the Ripper. And whenever we were in England, when we were in Europe for the past, you know, for three months, we did not do a Jack the Ripper video. Because so Who are many the people butt have heads? done it. Oh, just just bad people or, or rude people, you know, that you've met throughout your life. Because no society or group or any one group of people are ever one hundred percent cool people. You've always got like a thirty percent mm -hmm. population of buttheads. So I was telling Jessica this morning when yeah. she woke up. So I get up at six o'clock every morning. She gets up anywhere between nine and ten. Maybe 11 if I let her sleep in. But I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. That I... Uh, on me for... I put together a very, very interesting, in-depth Jack the Ripper video. So there is a big 
Jack the Ripper video coming uh, May, June of this year. And again, I know it's it, there's really nothing new that can be said about it, but we're, we're going to be filming it in such a way we have some things planned uh, that not that hasn't been done before. So keep an eye out for that. There is a John Wayne Gacy and there is a Jack the Ripper video coming. As of right now, no, there is not a Scott Peterson video coming, at least not this year, 2024. Nope. Oh, where am I in the chat? That is definitely not live. Where am I? Thank you, guys. I love your oh. videos. Happy Halloween. Oh. Mr. Beer, thank you. I just learned something. I'm seeing. Oh, okay. I'm mostly synced up with myself. I was, I was, uh, what do you call it? Lagging. On my own screen. Thank you, Mr. Beer. I, I I think if you have watched any other videos on Jack the Ripper before, uh, when you watch what we're planning on doing, I, I have a feeling you're, you are going to be pleasantly surprised. Look at that house. Right? That one, and they built that for that. And they actually built the house. Like as a whole house or just the I think it was just a, the front, Probably really. Probably the facade, right? I would think so. But I remember seeing pictures of that. Hello, Canada. The scene we're on right now is small male child drops his pills. Because <laughs> Are you reading the descriptive? No, but that's what he just did. 49 minutes and 42 seconds. Almost chose from the beginning. Oh, that was up close and in my face. This this always reminded me of like a Rob Zombie movie right here. Like that character. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm seeing all kinds of hearts flying by. Who is sending hearts? Who is this crazy person? Donald Turpin says the new Apple Vision Pro is $3,500. What is wow. that? What is the Apple it's like, Vision Pro? It's like a VR headset, but you can oh. actually do things. put it on. You can make phone calls and stuff like that. Interesting. I want it so badly because I'm a, I'm a dork we're like that. We're hoping so, Dee, Dee, but we're not sure what we'll have yet. But I ain't, everything's paying, delayed. I, I ain't paying for that. Thank you, John. John, Marissa. thank you, darling. Any relation to Atlantis? <laughs> Tori said, Hello. So the hearts are coming from Kylie. I don't know, if they, do from Kylie. I don't I think know if they do anything. They're, they're just popping up. It's just, it's it's neat to see. Can you see it? You can see it. I can see it. Yeah, I can see it. Like, you can do it yourself. Like, it doesn't have to be hearts. You can choose any emoticon to send. Well, I got a very small selection here, so I'll send that one. Let's see if it does anything. Oh, there I went. Oh, barely saw it. See, now I'm adding weird faces. <laughs> do you Tramp see my stamp. weird faces? We are 51 minutes and 25 yeah. seconds. Oh, there you are. The face coming in. Yeah. Renee, thank you. We love you too, Nico. Have a good night. And Nico, is, is Nico going? No, I just said he loves us weirdos. Go, I said I love you go, too. Go, Nico. Is this the blood scene? I want the blood scene. I don't recall. That's not the blood scene. It's been so long since I've seen it. I don't know where the blood scene is. I know it takes place in the bathroom. Oh, that's in number two. Is it in number two? It is number two. It's when she's all grown up. Damn it. Yeah. Darn it. Delaney! Video about the house blood sugar sex magic recorded in. Maybe. Oh. Take a look at it. They recorded it in a house? No clue. Uh, I'll have to look into that one, sweetheart. Up all night, 24 hours. Robert Blick, you can suck it. Ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> we did it one time and one time only. It was not 24 hours. It was like 12 hours. No. Robert that... Blake, respectfully, you're sucking. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it. Yeah. Because, I mean, not that I don't. You know what? I'm going to just say this. I'm not Here above. Comes... No, this is a hair part, isn't it? 
not the blood. Damn it. Nope. Is it not the hair? Shoot, now I can't remember. Aha! Going down. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Well, that's just not accurate. It's the movies. It's suspending belief. I don't. No, I don't remember that, Mocaine. That MTV did a brief special on the Chili Peppers making that album in a haunted house. I have no idea. Take I was really at... young when that one came out. Uh-oh. Uh... I want to say it's going to be hair. I think this is the hair scene. Apparently we... Oh, maybe you're right. That's blood and hair. Blood and hair. Who's right? We're not sure. My wife and I met you at some Midsummer Scream a few years back. We are shy, but you two made good conversation with us, and we're cool. Thanks for being awesome. Thank you, well, too, thank Elo. thank you, Elo Asti. Elo Asti. Hair. Oh, I got it. Oh. I got it right. Uh, girl, close your mouth. Right? Close your mouth. Uh, huh. Hot. Hot. Because it's any one. Well, that... ah, ah. well, what the frick? We are both right. That is so beautiful. We were Look both right. That. Look at that. Huh, why do I not remember this scene? Move ah. over, Johnny Depp. Move over, Carrie. Beverly's back in town. I don't remember that at all. Did I miss this scene? Gurgly, gurgly, gurgly. Uh, oh, the hair. I don't know what it is about the hair. <laughs> oh, this is great. His reaction. I love it. You worry me, Betty. From the original movie, whenever her dad is like has that line with her, you know, sometimes I worry, Betty, and sometimes I worry about you a lot. Always stick with, always stuck with me. And then this, it just, it just has that feeling. <sighs> I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm fine. You're so scared oh, no. that you were a scare bear. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. Uh, here's some trivia uh -oh. for you guys what who've been I around do? for a while. Okay. <laughs> you may, I mean, it's really dark, so you might not be able to see it, but I haven't worn this onesie. This fluffy black bear onesie. Move over this onesie. way, one of your heads. Like there you go. Ah, scare bear. I haven't worn this. I think since we moved here, and I ran around in the snow, in my flippy floppies. Where were we? Where were we at? The big Roswell, sign. New Mexico. Roswell, New Mexico. We didn't do a video. We took pictures. We took pictures on the way out. Yeah. Albert Cruz, yeah. Manson Murder Mansion. This thing is hot. Which one are you talking about? I'm like overheating right now. Which Manson Murder Mansion are you talking about, Albert Cruz? Thank you, Nico Pluto. Love you as well. Love you, Big love Bear. You. Uh oh. TTFN. Robert Blake, you can't <laughs> be leaving yet. Like, I'm so warm. I'm picking my hair up off my neck. This thing is toasty. Toasty. I know where the murders took place. Which one are you talking about? Are you Bears talking about the, the Tate house? Or are you talking about the La Bianca house? We did technically do videos yeah. on both of them. On the La Bianca house, which happened right after the Tate murders before. Mr. Beer says, sorry, I'm sure this has been asked, but what's y'all's favorite place you visited slash filmed? Well, I often say one the probably the favorite thing, the favorite shot of video or the favorite segment of video that I have ever filmed was in um, Pet Cemetery. When you're standing at the top of the quarry and I come up over the hill and you see all the boats and all the water over off in the distance. That was my yes. favorite thing I ever pointed a camera at. Only one of us was enjoying that scene. 
while but it was this being was before filmed. I got a little crazy and went down the hill. This was out. This was before that. Was it before? Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, all I can remember is what came after. We did do the Tate House. Okay. Well, it's it's torn down and rebuilt, but we did do a video on that Cielo Drive. Michael climbed down a rock quarry where I'm the adventurous cliffside that he had to climb down to. It was in steps. They call it, but they were as tall as he was, and he's for six the foot tube. Two. They call it for the tube. And it was raining. I did it for them. And we were very high up. They liked it. They did. They wanted it, to see more. They're like, risk scared the my life. out of me, man. I, my anxiety did you crap was yourself? so high. No, but I did cry internally. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh no. Why? 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 Wow. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I can't say that on camera. <laughs> what the heckins? We get dinged every time Sign I cuss. It. I can't. I can't. Do some. Uh, let's play charades. Charade me. Not that charades. Act it out. Circle. <laughs> I'm a circle. You're a circle. I'm a, oh, oh, that was the rudest thing anybody's ever said to me. Uh, that's so, I hate that scene. <laughs> You're going to have nightmares tonight. Oh, a hole. That's me. That's what you're talking about? I forgot what we're talking about. You did the circle. You is a. Oh, I get it. Doctor Strange. No. Mm. You want donut. I donut. No donut. Boo hole. I don't like this game. You... An arse. What the heck? Is... Oh, I can say that version. That no, you can't. Get no, 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 Bing. no. Uh-uh. You is an arse. No. No. Nope. Oh, I sound Irish. I like this. I like this game. Chicken butt. My word. Oh, we, we came up with a new joke earlier. Where is he? What? Sheep butt. This is not funny. What? Sean butt. There you go. Because it's Sean the sheep, and that's his bum. Bum! <laughs> It's not as funny as chicken butt, but I don't have a chicken. I just have a sheep. <sighs> Guess what? What? Sean butt. Sean butt. <laughs> like a... Yeah, I'm actually a little sad. Tommy gun. Because we moved here not too... I want to say not too long, but we moved here not too far into the future. <gasps> oh, they can still see it. Af- what? The oh, yeah. kids can still yeah. see the well, cause, cause they Because they were in they're they're in it. I mean, they're, yeah. they're part of it. But her dad can't see it. But we moved here. Uh, how, like, why did they play this song? It's such a weird song. They did this big, big art installation for the movie where they built like the like the fun house and stuff like that here in Hollywood. And I was like so excited. I wanted to see it. I wanted to see it. And um it was all gone. Okay, I was going to say, I don't remember that. I remember no. the one for Stranger Things that I kind of did forget about it, if I'm being honest. We did a thing how for Stranger to, Things. How we did a thing Australian. for Fear Street. Remember the Fear Street? Rise Up fun. Lights. Have you guys seen our Fear Street Rise up lights. Uh, pop-up video that we did? Fear Street. That was one of the very, like, one of the first things that we that truly got good. to do uh, here once we moved here and then everything started opening back up. And uh, they did a Fear Street pop-up experience, and it was cool. Ew, I as missed heckins. that. That was that was so good. That was like one of my favorite experiences that we've gotten to do. I wish I could go back there and just like slow walk it and like take my time and see all the tiny little details and stuff like that. I still have tote bags, t-shirts, and like cards they gave us from that experience. I love it so much. Rowan Jones says, "Ever tried ghost hunting? I never heard of them. What are they?" 
I'm kidding. We have. So for those of you who do not know that Jessica, baby ghoul, mm -hmm. and I have, have a, a, a bit of a history in paranormal investigation, ghost hunting, if you will. We hunted the ghosts. Why are we so goofy tonight? I don't know. I like it. I'll tell you what it is. It is because we won an award. We did. <gasps> is it uranium poisoning? <gasps> it, it makes you goofy? Don't like it. Oh, my God. You're I weird. don't think that's safe. Rare form. We're just having fun. We're just having fun. <sighs> A lot of people, Missy, say that I remind them of Jim Carrey. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'm a fan of Jim Carrey. It was... It, <laughs> baby, it was soap poisoning. Tramp stamp. What is that from? Christmas story. It was soap poisoning. One hour, four minutes. Brian! Where did you get your Jack O'Lantern purse? My wife loves it. Which one? Can you tell me what color it was? Because it might be from different places. Oh, is it the black one that I had in uh, Europe? There's even a pink one. So uh, we do have a most of there. the time, the pumpkin most purses. Most of the time. Most of the time, the pumpkin Maybe purses are time. from Love, Pain, and Stitches. Love, Pain, like ow. Ow. And Stitches. stitches. It's a long name. Love, Pain, and Stitches. Some people, like, I think Dolls Kill has one. Yeah, but it's not made well like this one. This a is couple really other well people made. make some other ones, but Love, yeah. Pain, and Stitches are the ones that you want to go to if you want something. They are Los Angeles lot. based. So I tend, I have ordered from them in the past, actually. Um, but I do have some that I've worn previously that were from Trick or Treat Studios. But I think you're probably talking about the black one because I wore that one in Europe recently. A the lot. tramp stamp is one hour, four minutes, 15 seconds. I'm pretty sure you're asking about the black one, but I'm going to wait for you. Of your course, Missy. We try, but it goes by sure so that quick I get you right the right place. Hey, hey, hey. Any new merchandise hell? coming? Juan Garcia. See, like he's a plant. There are new merchandise yeah. coming. The store, the Grim Life Collective official store, is opening once again hey. in the beginning of February. There are new t shirts, there are new pins, <laughs> stickers, and prints coming. So be on the lookout. Follow If you follow us on social media. No, that's not the one that I was wearing. No, it wasn't. If you follow us on social media, you will probably know first before those who do not. If that makes sense. I'm precious. You are precious. I'm precious. Come back no to Wisconsin. Tears, Nico, no tears. I don't think we've ever been in Wisconsin. Uh, well, I, we have, I have been. In. Younger. Yeah, we've been in Wisconsin. What am I talking about? Okay, yeah. So, Brian, the black one that you see me wearing in Europe is from Love, Pain, and Stitches. Now, they have two types of purses that they release. Um, oh, thank you, Kylie. Thank you, Henry. Um, they have ones that are, like, custom handmade. They're a little bit larger. They're a lot more expensive and very limited when they release them on their website. And then there's some that are... No hats, Jim. kind of come from, Sorry. like, a factory. Um that they call the pumpkin cult line, I believe. And I don't recall which one I have, but you, they, yeah, they come and go, they sell out sometimes, but they're local here. So I, I think I got mine in person. <clears throat> I think I got one of the handmade one. You know, I'm going to have to check. I'm not sure. I don't know if it was a uh, handmade or not. I don't think it was. No, that's not where I got mine from. But she, we, we do shop at Dolls Kill. We do. I have some stuff. So I, I like to shop from the company called Widow. Um, I buy from them a lot. Um, they're a small independent company. But they, they're they only hosted through uh, Dolls Kill. 
So I that's the only we place I can are buy at them the from. at the stone throwing scene, Gina. Very yeah. cool. You're pretty much cut up. One hour, six minutes, forty eight seconds. We are rocking it. We are watching it, Jack Don. The link is in the description of this video Absolutely. that you're watching or pinned to the top of the chat. You need two devices to watch this video. And again, real quick shout out to all of you Ghost Club members. Thank you for being Ghost Club members. Um, next week, we have a Ghost Club member only hangout. So thank you for that. Do not ever feel like you need to become a Ghost Club member. This is for people who, who want to go an yeah. extra mile and just kind of help out. Um, all of our videos are always for free. But if you want to find ways, there are ways to do it um, to help support the Grim Life Collective. But quite honestly, just you watching the videos is more than you can ever imagine. So thank you for that. If if Zach Baggins... Who? Zach Bagan, Baggins. Zach. Bagan or Baggins? I, Bagan? I don't you know. I'm not sure. If he were to ask us to be guests on Ghost Adventures, I would absolutely join him on an episode. I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, I'll tell you right now, though. I am a bit of a chicken. I get really nervous in situations like that. So my anxiety gets really high and I don't know if I'm experiencing yes, things Nash. or if we I'm just having Trans high World anxiety. So if I ever went on an episode of Ghost Adventures and if Zach Baggins, the man himself, really is that strong of a conduit that stuff happens like that around him all the time. Don't worry about it, Missy. I might cry. On don't camera. worry about it. Just, just come here and watch the videos and hang out with us. That's all we care about. Thank you. It's Big Chris. Thank you, sweetheart. Bagans, Bajins, Bagans, Bagans. Jake Timberlane. Are you sure it's not Timber Puddle? Oh, you uh -huh. have great content. I watch all your stuff. Like your Ramones Pet Cemetery video the best. Thank you. We're, oh, we are very thank proud you. of that Ramones Pet Cemetery video. That very is proud like of that. one of the sweetest things you could say because. We really did love making that video, and I feel that one got two devices overlooked like, for sure. Uh, real quickly, for those of you who are just joining, Jack, Don, um, and anybody else, if you're just tuning in right now and wondering where the heck is the movie, why is the movie not here? Why is the movie not here? Not here or there or anywhere. You need it's for copyright reasons. That's a hundred percent why. Mm, yeah, and some people just don't get it, and some people get a little butt hurt about it. It is what it is. It's copyright reasons. In order for you to watch the free movie that we have supplied, you need two devices. One to watch us, one to watch the video. The link to tonight's free video is pinned to the top of the chat or down here or over there, depending on how you're watching. It's there or it's also in the description. And uh, that's how you watch it. Or just put in your Blu-ray. Put in your Blu-ray. Just much. Oh, Jess, look at your little doggy. Like You're amazing. That little guy. Thank you, sweetheart. You're amazing. You're amazing. It's You're pretty amazing. simple, but that's the only reason why we do it. We used to try to you, get wow. the movie here, mm. or we were down really small at the bottom of the movie. And by the way, Ran in order to do that, problems. you have to have a lot of equipment. You yeah. can't just post something inside your own video. It requires like a whole long setup. We've tried things like this in the past. It takes... One part of it is like $250, and I'm sorry, well, putting the little video inside of it for you is, I don't know if it's worth all that trouble, but also outside of that, it's the copyright strike, which can be very detrimental to people's channels, which is why they don't do it. Yeah. Bam. And yeah, OBS and stuff like that, we've, we've messed with that stuff before, and I'm going to tell you right now, if you're watching this and listening to it, it is never going to happen. I'm sorry. Um... When it comes to the watch parties and how we do them, it's more of a hangout. We have We're the movie. We can watch together. it. We're watching it on our TV and talking to you. You guys can do the same thing. Put on your TV. Yeah. The point of talk coming here is not really to watch the movie. And that's not us trying to be mean. No. It's not. It's just you, you need to understand that it's not everybody can can watch it at the same exact time. 
or if we try to put it on here, which we've tried in the past. Some of you guys have been here since the very beginning, and it's just been oh. been hard. But yeah, the the link it's through a website called Tubi. With Sometime, the one, sometimes we do it on YouTube. Um, but click on it and see if you can watch it. Just hang out. That's what it is. Hang out and having a good time and relaxing. And some people have a hard time doing that. Ah. The, Brian, the Dracula book that you got your wife uh, for Christmas after seeing our video, is that the one from Watch Whitby? Along Party. Is it the, the Edgar Allan edition with the uh, the bats inside the, the binder or the, the pages on the side? The What do you call that? Uh-huh. The what? Where when they print on the pages on the like side on of the, the ream? Book, on the ream, is that what that's called? I think so. Oh. I don't know. Hello, France. Bonjour. Merwan Zen 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 Zenasni. I'm Zenasni. sorry if I butchered Zenasni. that. Zenasni. Love from America to France. Bonjour. Tramp stamp DVD. Jamma. Oh, wait, we Spanish. are looking at one hour, 12 minutes, and 55 uh, seconds. You guys are the perfect ending to any day. I'm not feeling good, but you guys are just soothing and comfort, comforting for me as always. Well, I thank you. I'm glad we're here. Glad you're here. Huh? I forgot how to say I love you in French. I, I, I don't know. I, get, I said Tiamo, and that's not right. That's Spanish. Uh... Oh, that's creepy. Oh, I love this part when they were doing the uh right? the, the weird machine flip, thing. Jador. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Tracy D says, been here since lockdown. Love these hangouts. We've been doing them for a long time. I mean, we've had some breaks here years, and there yeah. because we've been like traveling a lot. And sometimes it's just kind of good to decompress, but we try to be here, you know? Good evening, Michael. I've got a question for you. How's Randy's Donuts? Did you guys have time to drive out there to try the donuts? No. I don't drink. I'm completely sober. We haven't tried those donuts yet. Well, I think maybe All we natural. did at one point, but I don't remember. It was like when we first moved here a couple years ago, but we haven't been back since. Mm. Was there a room you liked the most at the museum, at Zach's Museum? Ooh, I think we have different favorites. I think I, my favorite room was, so all of it was beyond beautiful. The yeah. first room they take you in was just, I was blown away. But I think for me, for me, the creepiest, most ominous room that there that Hi, was boy. there that I got to experience, that we got to experience was the, the Dybbuk box. The Dybbuk box was very fascinating. That was, it's one of those things where you... You walk into this room, whether Jette. it's by you or with Jette. a group, and you walk around the room, and the yeah. Dybbuk box is right there in front of you, and it's in this like encasing now mm -hmm. where it has like a small window all the way around it that you can see it as you walk. Yeah. And I'm telling you what, even not knowing any of the stories or any of the legends or any of the lores or hauntings of this particular item, if you, were to, if you were to just walk into this room and not know anything and be able to walk around oh. it, it, it'll freak you out. Good night, Missy. Yes, Jam Luke. Yeah, they, they showed a, a clip of that episode, actually, um, before we go in. They, they do Pat, that. Uh, Post Malone. Yeah, they, they show um, throughout the museum, they they show some clips of things. And Good night, they Aaron. Do some history and things like that. It's Wait, pretty cool. May's going to sleep. Good night, Missy. Aaron. Missy's going to sleep. Ah, Aaron took it back. He touched Annabelle too. <gasps> spooky, spooky. Shannon Fitz, member for nine Shannon! months. Holy cannoli. Happy Halloween. Now look at that time being a ghost, right? You've been an afterlife member Ayo. for quite some look, time. Look, even her little, her little icon is wearing our shirt. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, Michael, any plans for another feature film video like Saw? If so, what would you like to do? Stay spooky. So, okay, you guys are going to love this. Oh, Audrey so Hepburn's grave. We had the idea of doing a... So this year we didn't do a Christmas episode. Some of you may have noticed. Some of you may not have noticed. Some of you may not even thought twice about it. So we thought about doing a Christmas 
episode and the likes of the movie, uh, what we did with Saw, which is basically we created a bunch of merchandise for a, a Saw Grim Life Collective um, crossover. Thank you, Nemore. You could buy perks that became an associate producer, which means you got credit on IMDb. You were actually listed on IMDb and as, as an associate producer or a producer, executive producer. And we raised money so we can go inside and do Saw. So we had this crazy idea for a Christmas epi episode that had to deal with the TV show X-Files. X-Files. It never happened. But maybe we'll, we will revisit that in the future. Yeah. It's a lot of work that goes into it, Shannon. A very oh, good question. God, it is. I want to read this to you really quickly. Uh, Namor Films said, been, been watching all of you. Been binge watching all of your content. Informative, spooky, and scary. The trifecta. Keep up the amazing work. Well, thank you, Namor yeah, Films. Yeah, very sweet. Thank you. If you're into sports, it's called a hat trick. If you're into, a, into bowling, three strikes is a turkey. I've never heard that before. Three strikes in a row is called a turkey. I have never heard that before. It is not. It is a turkey? Yeah. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> Why would it be called a turkey? Because you was a turkey. That's what they call it. I don't know why oh, they you, call sweetheart. it a turkey. Don't, don't be concerned about that, darling. We're What's just that? happy you came to hang out. Yeah. Uh, Miss you said that she doesn't have PayPal or anything like that. And she doesn't get paid till next week. Darling, there's there's no concern. Yeah. You're good. We're, 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 have good sleepies, honey. Above everything, we are very adamant about one thing. And that's always take care of yourself and family first. Always. No matter what. Whether you join the ghost club. Or you donate, or you buy a t-shirt, or you're a sticker, or whatever. We are still going to be making videos that you can watch for free. Yeah. Always count on that. Take care of yourself, and just hang out. Scotty watch the, the videos. Hattie. That's all we care about. Mr. Scotty's the Hatties. We, we've we done several videos on the Mystics Museum in Burbank. We love them. Yeah, we're, we're kind of... we. I would dare to say that we've become good friends with the people there, and we love them to death. We we love going there every chance we get. <laughs> we actually just put up one not that long ago from, you know, they have two locations now. Mm -hmm. um, they have the Mystic Museum Robert store, Blake. and then they have one a little bit further down the road, which is their other installation. And we did that one about three weeks ago, if that, if it's been that long. It was, it's right now it's the, um, the Evil Dead exhibit. Yes. Robert Blick says he wants his cameo of dad jokes. Trust me. Oh, did he order one? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm going to say this right now. If, oh, I'm familiar with Eureka Springs. It, oh, somebody's yes. going to be getting some some I some dad jokes. That. Oh, he did. Did it? <laughs> awesome. Okay. Robert, we prepare will thyself. Just for you. Give us, yeah, it, it's coming. Be prepared. We will write you an original dad joke. How about that? Yeah. You're welcome. A nice celebrity you have met. Recently, um, it was Zach from Ghost are. Adventures. I think it's different for everyone's phones or something. I think it reads differently for everybody. Oh, my God. Oh. Well, that was worse. I thought he fell down the stairs and he just fell through the floor. Can we all talk about his fanny pack? I mean, that was normal back then. Everyone had one. You weren't cool unless you had one. What the hell? I'm not just talking about dads, neither. Thanks, Michael, for the explanation. I can't use a second device, so as long as I can interact with you guys live, that's great. Jack Don, thank you. Thank you. I, I, I realize that some people are only here for the movie. They do not like the Grim Life Collective, and who can blame them? We are weird. I've been we doing are this yes, gorgeous strange. This one over here is he even... Um, what? Eureka Springs. I keep, that's the place I keep telling you about. Maybe I have been there. Gorgeous. You have not. How I already you know? know because I've asked you. Uh -huh. I like making faces. I guess. Happy birthday, Shannon. Happy birthday. Her birthday's on Wednesday. Oh, early. We are all. Nope. Fanny packs. We are, are all. We are all weird here. My bun buns. 
I'm here for the bunny. Fun, fun. Listen, you go boss 760. I'm not knocking fanny packs. <laughs> Dwayne have, Johnson had one. I have one for sure. I know I have one. Don't have lie. One. Jessica has so many. Fa- uh-huh. Jessica has a fanny pack addiction. Uh-uh. Yeah, huh? Uh-uh. Yep. No. Yep. They have this scene where the, the kid Ooh, from uh, Stranger Things yeah. walks in. So, okay. So, in the Saw escape room in Las Vegas, the scene in this movie where the kid from Stranger Th- Stranger Things walks into um, the room with all the clowns and he gets inside. I think he gets inside the coffin, right? I don't remember. It's been so long since I've seen this one. Yeah. I really don't recall. In, in the escape room, when you do it, one of your team members has to climb inside the, the coffin. And it is terrifying. He did it. I did it. He's the one that did it. Yeah. Beep, beep, Richie. Oh, I guess he doesn't. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, Oogie. Oh, it, it was pretty trippy, Lindsay. It was, it was, uh, it'll, it'll give you anxiety. Okay. Yes. Only sure. one person in the team has to climb through it. And that's yeah. how, that's one of the, one of the, one of the things that allows you to beat the room to go to the next one. Yeah. Matthew Caldera says, Oh, I'll jump in the coffin. You would love it. I it's think fun. you and Michelle would yeah. love the Saw escape rooms. His voice in this, Skarsgård's voice, is Pretty just good, amazing. Yeah. Alice says, Michael, I have a question. Where was Planet of the Apes 1968 was filmed at? I don't remember. You guys are amazing. If I'm not mistaken, it was in Malibu Creek State Park. They built the ape city back there, a bunch of other things. I thought about going out and doing a Planet of the Apes, like the original. Um, Just haven't gotten around to it. In this scene, if you're watching it, those, those doors where it says not scary at all and scary. And those... The actual doors from the movie are on display at the It Escape Room in Las Vegas. Oh, that's right. Yep. I forgot about that part. We did watch the new Saw movie and we liked it. Brian Collier. He really was. I'm good glad in this that role. was the one that hooked you. Welcome to the family. Right? I'm not ready enough for you. Oh. Oh, I missed something. What was it here? Such a good scene. Sorry, we we just stared off and went quiet, didn't we? Thomas Key says, hi, guys. Love your videos. You guys rock. I don't know if you remember this. It is Tom from Jersey sent you the autographed creature from the Black Lagoon picture a couple years back. The one... Wait a second. The one with... Uh, she was autographed on there too, if I remember correctly, right? If so, thank you. I rem- I do remember that. 
Any plans to come to Denver to tour the 13th floor haunted house or haunted field of screams? I'll say this. Maybe one of those, Ivy, Making sure I might be on the list. You never know. You know how delicate he is. Lindsay Brooke. Have a good night. We yeah, adore Scar you as well. did it a, He did a really good job as Pennywise. He he did it pretty great. So Fright Burst Family says, do you guys like Five Nights at Freddy's? It's funny you say that. We've never played the game. No. We never really saw the appeal. But we tried watching the movie, and I don't think we even finished it. I think we fell asleep. We didn't. Yeah, we did not finish it. We should it. watch it again just to kind of get a better feel for it. I remember when we watched it, we were kind of tired. It it didn't really keep my attention. Yeah. We did do a Headless Horseman in Ulster Park, New York uh, a couple years ago. Um, I don't know if it's going to be on this year's Haunted House tour yet or not. Right, Jeremiah Johnson? I don't know what is up with it. What? I am... The ads. Jessica has an ad over oh, here I on do. her side. Yeah. She didn't even realize it. I double-checked while we're on here. Uh, there should be no ads at the moment. Sorry about it. The, the weird thing about that is, like, whenever I have an ad, it restarts the, the video from way back, and I have to, like, scroll it all the way Keep forward. Going. Tramp stamp. Maybe that's why we're getting a lot of tramp stamps, too. Uh, one hour, 28 minutes, and 30. T seconds three zero. It's YouTube is a very strange and fickle thing that we can set a video to have like no ads. They'll still put ads in it. We can set it to have a low amount of ads. They'll put as many as they want because now there's a disclaimer that if you go through all your settings. They basically, and this is one of the new updates. They basically tell you that the settings that you choose for your videos, they're going to take more as a suggestion and then do whatever they want. Well, what I think is funny is YouTube, if you leave it all up to YouTube, they will put like 30 ads, possible ads in your video. And <clears throat> they're not guaranteeing that you're going to get them all. And... I don't know. It, it, it's kind of weird. I I was talking with a few other YouTube content creators about this, and it almost seems like they're really trying to push people to do YouTube red. Red. Um, and I think same kind of topic. A lot of people anymore seem to be using ad blocker programs. and Oh, web and, browsers. Yeah, so it's almost like a way of them com combating it, if you will. So I don't really know what's going to happen. I know the Grim Life Collective channel itself, like what you're watching on, does not pay for YouTube Red. We do not do YouTube Red. I do, actually. I Jessica do it on one. It. I, not on this account. On my personal account, I do YouTube Red um, simply because sometimes when we were in Europe, we really needed Tubi to have... will give you ads. Um, we needed to have a hard copy of a movie downloaded somehow and the only place that i could feasibly do it in that moment was on youtube uh because we we're in another country and since we we're in another country some of my other services weren't working even with my my uh, mobile downloads and stuff so i currently do purchase uh one mobile red and and we do that so we can kind of get a feel for how things are going like jessica I like, I don't know she belongs is, jessica actually belongs to the ghost club member she signed I up am. for it so i want to um, see what you guys are experiencing live and ivy said that she thinks that it has something to do with the time of day that you're watching it, which would make sense. I'm sure that's factors. You know, sure. if you watch it a certain time of day and then um, it's more prime than others, it, it would make sense. So Chris Gray says, I watch Grim Life on Apple TV. Does that affect any revenue for you? We have no clue. I have, no, no. I, I have the Good slightest question. clue. Uh if I did, I'd tell you, but honestly, I don't. We just kind of make the videos and just kind of go with it. And um, we enjoy our adventures and we hope you guys do too. So, Aaron says, I always allow the, ah, uh, what, what, Aaron says, what? 
uh, how it works question. I always allow the ads to play through at the beginning of your videos. Does that make a difference to what you receive? I think it does. I do. Um, but we are told that it does. I mean, but what we really know is, is limited. Well, even as a content creator, YouTube, the company doesn't give us clear descriptions or instructions on how things are done. Uh, we're kind of in the dark about that as well. I mean, we put out a video and the only thing we know is this. The only thing we know is this. You put out a video, if it does really well, which means it gets thousands upon thousands upon thousands of views, maybe a million of views, uh -huh. you make more money from that, from people watching that because it keeps circulating than you do from a video that only gets 11,000 views. That's the only thing we know for certain. That's complete transparency. Depending on how many people watch your video, how many people share your video, how long they watch it, if they watch it again, there's a lot of factors. Depending on the time of yeah. day they watch it, are they YouTube premium where they are in the world? Yeah, so, so many factors. Yeah, all we, could, factors we could talk for hours it. and all day and about it's, this. That is when, whenever you hear people say that YouTube algorithm, all of that is the algorithm. All of these things yeah. of if this happens, then this. If this happens, then this. If this doesn't happen, really this quickly, doesn't happen. Mr. Yeah. Beer <sighs> says, do you guys have any thoughts on where a Scream 7 should go? I think. Oh no, a red balloon. Oh no. I don't get me wrong. I love the original casting. And I love the new casting with Jenna Ortega. We're big Jenna Ortega fans, especially from the TV show Wednesday. You can see all oh, this is our Adams family wall behind you. And we have a poster over there. I I, I actually think that I would like to see a refresh. If they do decide to bring back Scream Seven. Oh, that's if, right. if they're gonna do that, it's got it, about this. it's got blurry here for a minute here. If you can see it, I didn't do it. I I think that if 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 they do more, Stoogie, thank you, sweetheart. Good night, darling. Scream Seven. Scream Seven should be something completely different. Different people. I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe you can try making that brighter for. There we go. Elvis Stooges TTFN. <laughs> We're glad you're here. We're sad you're gone. I honestly don't know where a Scream 7 should go. And we try really hard not to think about how things are happening with ads on, on YouTube. We just we just we strive real we strive for two things. One for us as a couple in life to have the most interesting time that we can possibly make. And the other one being make the best darn video we can. Whatever happens after that happens. Yeah. I forgot about this scene. I forgot about a lot of this movie, apparently. I wouldn't be surprised if they said the movie's not going to happen. And to be honest, I don't care if it happens or not. I kind of don't either. Like, if, if they say we're not making another Scream movie ever, cool. What a run it's been. If they make a new one without the, the current or Scream 6 cast, cool. You know what I mean? I'm mm -hmm. Basically, if you watch the movie mm -hmm. Scream... If you really love the movie Scream, you watch it for one thing, and that's Ghostface. And as long as they keep bringing in a Ghostface, people are still going to go and watch it. I, okay, so I didn't read the books, and I always wonder if there's more to her father than the movie show. Like, he has very creepy behaviors. I've, n I've never read the book, though, so I don't know if they're shadowing that here. That would 
be cool, Hugo Boss. I didn't know that Twitch does that. I wouldn't mind that myself. We didn't see Aquaman 2. Is, is it not out yet? Is it out yet? It's out. Oh. We did watch The Pope's Exorcist. It was all right. Jessica liked it more than I did. I liked it. Well. <sighs> I had my issues with it, but 60% of it I liked. Did not see Night Swim. No, we didn't see Night Swim. Thornlist One. Rose Red, Lakewood, Washington, Thornwood Castle. I'll buy you two lunch on a weekend. Thornwood Castle. Rose Red. Oh, we've gone there. We have gone there. We did. We stayed there. We stayed there and we did a video. Sometimes I feel like I'm catching up. We did a pretty, what we think is a pretty amazing video. Mm, I like it. Thank you. But if we ever make it back up that way, possibly, we shall see. But as of right now, we don't have any big plans about going over there, up there. I think I caught a a question from someone and I forgot to say it out loud is they asked if we had any footage from rose red visitation that we didn't end up using and i, and I don't think so i think we, we used it all we used all of it yep. it's, it's a really cool place and i especially liked the um the hotel we didn't stay in the arctic do you remember what it's called i, I don't remember then what, what it was called no the place for the um the mirrored ballroom. Thank you, Devin. Thank you, Devin. For both of us. Dun, dun, dun. You die if you try. Is that what it says? Hugo Boss 760. Thank you. <laughs> Thank very you. Much. Hugo. Thank you. And Brian Collier. So, yes, Jess, I bought the Dracula book for my wife at Christmas and I couldn't find the jack o' lantern purse that you had. So, I got a pentagram purse instead. Yes, that was me on the rose red. Oh, that's cool, man. Very cool. The pr- How did you find the book, by the way? Just curious. How, I'm, I'm assuming you found it online, unless you are actually in Europe. Well, thank yourself. you, Thornlist One. Thank you. Thank you, Thornlist. Appreciate that. I think the next time that we go up that way, towards like Seattle and Portland, I think we're going to try to do a, um, a a meet and greet or something whenever we get up that way, because we've been up there and there's 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 a lot to see. Wow, oh, my little toe. Oh, you mean this guy here? This guy here? Yeah. You can't see it tonight because for some reason it's very dark in here tonight. But it is actually signed right here by Tim Curry. Got to meet him once. He said I looked like I was on fire. Right? He was amazing. Oh, you found it on Amazon. That's so cool. I didn't even know you could get it. Gina says, my son is 11 and wants to become a film director and direct films based on her writing. I love horror. So does he. Awesome. You never know, Chris Gray. Like, we love you taking should. stuff like that out. What? So, HK138, very good question. What did you guys think of Death Rider and the House of Vampires? We actually <laughs> loved it. Yeah. It was so strangely cheesy, cheesy and oh. odd that it was amazing. But it was like that good kind of cheesy. Like, you go in there knowing that, like, half the audience is there for all the boobs. Honestly, let's be honest about that. Okay. And because of who the director was. And uh Tramp I, stamp. You know, I didn't act I didn't honestly know one hour, forty one minutes, ten seconds. That I don't know why. I j I, I think I maybe I did know there was boobies. Think not. But Kylie. like I didn't actively think about it because I, I guess you just automatically assume both you know? Danzig movies are like heavily featured heavily feature Beats. adult film stars. 
I am so excited to be back to creepy con. So many good friends there who work and run the place. And I just, yeah, I'm excited to be back to that one again. Ricky Darrow says, Hey, Michael, have you ever been to any of the creep show locations? I'm not going to say yes. I'm not going to say no. Mm -hmm. All I'm going to say is go to our YouTube channel and type in Grim Life Creep Show. Oh, thank you, Thorne. And uh, you may or may not be surprised. That's all I'm going to say about that. We didn't go there when we were in Seattle, did we? The Underground? Is that a museum? No. Okay. Oh, thank you, Diego. Thank you, sweetheart. Give your wife hugs, too. Mm. That's so sweet. Love creepies cons. And I just need to I need to give Nick a hug. I feel like I haven't seen him in so long. I just want to give him a hug. Who's that? Nick. The owner. The or do you call him the owner? The the father of Creepy Con? Yeah. Yeah. I guess I would say He's that. just a good guy. He also does uh fearsome figures, and we've gotten some um collectibles through him, and we love it. Just he's not wrong. Good guy. Alice, I, I feel like I remember you saying this. She's gonna be cosplaying Wednesday Adams, right? Yeah. She did say that. I feel like I did. I hear feel that. like I, I remember like you saying that. If not, I think you'd make a pretty darn good Wednesday Adams, so go for it. Ooh, sorry. This is a long movie. It got me all sleepy. It is after a little bit after 10 here. So this movie's been going for two hours. Two and a half, two, two point. Lily Gardner says, have you seen Megan? It was about the robot. We did. Thank you, Brad. And we oddly, love you too. we were not big fans of it. I mean, it was okay. It was yeah, enjoyable, like but it wasn't like, uh, it, it wasn't like one of our favorites. So much so that we haven't even bought it. It's not even part of our collection. Right? This Brad, is like 76, thank you. I feel like I'm past my bedtime. It is. I'm sleepy. Good night. Thank you, Henry W. Diego, hey, we went to the Ouija Board Museum in Salem, and they told us about you guys coming. It was super cool, and the guide was amazing. They are amazing people. We miss them. We were actually just talking the other day about going back up to Salem Mm -hmm. right around the Halloween time, Mm -hmm. uh, if we could. And um, I was really excited about visiting the Salem Witch Board Museum again. Yeah, that place is cool. I don't know if they've had any new additions, but... I like to go see that and just the uh, the guy who gave us the tour of the place. The owner. Oh, he was the owner, wasn't he? He was the owner. He just, you know how like you get into deep conversations with people and you're kind of like sad to go. And it's like, oh man, I've had such a great chat. Sad to leave. Hugs, hugs, hugs. So a couple of times, let's see this question here. What is our most coveted signed item, Devin? I'm not going to answer that only because we we have a a video coming very soon about um, some of our most coveted signed items. So it'd be a surprise. Keep an eye out. Yes. Bunch of dead people. They're not dead. They're suspended in reality. Well, they don't come back. So they would have to be dead, right? Does Salem have plenty of uh, places for you to stay? Uh, yes and Not no. Not inside the city. <clears throat> it all depends on what time you go. I mean, mm-hmm. they do have some, but it's not like yeah. it's filled with hotels. <clears throat> um, depending on what time of year you go, you might be staying an hour outside of Salem and then driving in or busing in. Um, but they do have some places. There's a big hotel right in the heart of Salem. And there's also... Uh, I love this scene. It's the scene where the, the where uh, Pennywise is dancing. Yeah. Huh, huh, huh. So, like, before he eats a kid, he has to get them to like their optimum fear level or something, right? I would think that uh, Jordy wasn't quite there yet, but he ate him anyway. You 
I like how his mouth is so big it pushes his eyeballs away. The ghost light. The dead lights. The dead lights. What did they do in Monsters, Inc.? I missed something. Have a good one. Right, like I know that there's supposed to be like suspended food sources or whatever, but when he's killed, they don't all like come back to life or anything, you know? So I, I would think that they are suspended in animation, but technically dead, you know? Or when he dies, they're taken out of that suspended animation and die and, you know, let's just call them dead. switch if switch <sighs> sorry scary. Hugo boss nothing for set for San Diego not this year at least We have pretty much all of um, 2024 planned out, so I can guarantee you that San Diego is not happening this year. I'm so he sorry about that. He bounced his face off of that thing. He's dead. He's definitely dead. That boy dead. Devin, you can be watching the movie, too. There is a free link, so you can watch it with us. It's pinned to the top of the chat as well as the description of this video here. The movie is more of optional chat topic. Not yeah. so much the point right. of the chat. It'll happen, you yeah. go boss. I promise you that. But but not not yet. One, are you guys planning oh, to try to get inside the Warren's Museum? No. We we tried already. We reached out yeah. to them, and uh, for some reason, uh, for whatever reason, they decided not to even answer an email. So we, 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 it is what it is. Yeah. If they reach out to us, awesome. If but I'm not gonna. I don't. I don't hound people. We don't hound people. I don't, we're not. I don't think we are due to be at Days of the Dead in Vegas. We are going to be no. in Chicago. No Days of the Dead in Vegas. We're we're actually going to be somewhere else in the country but like jessica was saying days of the dead um chicago, chicago for yeah. sure only days of the dead chicago <clears throat> oh <Aww. clears throat> sorry to hear you you're all banged up at bimac 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 no like vegas D Max says that he's from the UK and he's hurt his back, and we're helping keep him entertained. We are doctors. Doctor? Doctor? Donna, doctor. Donna, doctor. Dr. Donna. Jessica, all right. So I've been making Jess. Well, Jessica has been binge watching um, Doctor Who. We talk about Doctor Who every week. And she well, just lately. finished lately we do. the David Tennant years. And well, she's now starting to watch the, the, um, specials. the specials, but yeah. she just finished uh, the, the David Tennant years and she discovered who Donna Dar Donna Doctor is. Dr. Donna. Dr. Donna. Oh, so sad for that. I love this. Alex Zapata surprised no filming location <laughs> videos for American Werewolf in London while in UK. Why? We're coming back. We are coming back. Can't do it all in one and, trip. And, and, and you, you know, there, there's a lot of things 
a lot of things in the world. And I get this a lot. I get this a lot where people say, oh, you you we came tried. to you came to the UK and you didn't go and do American Werewolf in London. What, what kind of horror fans are you? Um, it's going to happen. But possibly there's other things that like we were, we we wanted to do or we, we couldn't do it that particular time for some reason. So so hold your horses. Hold your horses. It'll happen. Or yeah, I was trying to think of another version of hold your horses and I just went blank. Hold your spirits. Hold your ghosts. <laughs> Contain thyself. Yeah, I, th I think this is definitely my favorite of the two. Something about the kid actors, I just, oddly enough, enjoy more than the adult actors. Well, that, that, that's the, the same reason why with the original one with Tim Curry, my mm. favorite one was the first part whenever they were kids. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the other ones when they were adults, but it was mm. just not as fun or as oh, innocent like or as, as scary. Hold your unholy spirits. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> the word of the day is thy crap pants. Crap thy pants. <laughs> the slaughtered lamb can wait. Well, thank you, Richard. We are going back. We'll be back in England and Scotland in May, June of this year. They did do a good job of casting the adults. They did, yeah. And thank you as well, Kevin. Thank you. So, Devin Jackson, you got the... Uh, I clicked on the app, and I am at the beginning. Awesome. So, you got the video. So, the, the timestamp, tramp stamp, we are we are pretty far into the movie right now. It is... Bear with me here. So, I one, think... One hour, 53 minutes, and 55 seconds. Well, one hour, 54 minutes. And to catch up on our live feed, you have to scroll uh, to the very right. Um, so oh, he, mine he, did it he's, too. He's mine froze. He's tuning in. Like he, he should be here. Yeah, this is a new thing with YouTube. I'm experiencing the same stuff you guys yeah, are Gina. with it because I'm I'm looking at it just as if you're looking at it. And every time I have to close it and log back in because yeah, a commercial has popped up, I have to scrub is it the, the yogurt the live. Nope. Uh, it was vitamins, kids' vitamins though. So they must be doing something with. The horror their fan videos. 88. We, we we mentioned it a little bit ago, and you're probably it's just joining haywire. in. There is a Jack the Ripper video coming. We put together a very nice, a very good Jack the Ripper video that is uh covers a lot, but it also does something a little bit different. Oh May June is when we're gonna be filming the Jack the Ripper video. This part is so sad. Lily Gardner and anybody else in Texas, when are you coming back to Texas in 2024? We're not going to be stopping to film in Texas, but we are driving through Texas to get to Salem uh, to uh, Savannah, Georgia. But uh, no Texas videos as of right now. We might. I don't know. There might be a Texas video coming. But we have to get from one side of the, co the country to the next in, in a rather quick time. So it all depends on how quickly things happen. We shall see. So Driving through Arkansas, but not stopping. It's a long one, Mo Kane. It's an epic adventure. 
right? There you go, Shannon. We'll wave as well. <laughs> Sorry. I'm enthralled by the movie right now. Like oh, yeah. the parts that where they really always used Georgie was always the creepiest for me and the saddest. Jeremiah Johnson, any chance of Texas Frightmare in 2025? Um, no. No plans on it. Um, if they if they want us, we'd be more than happy to. Mm. But uh, as of right now, we haven't heard any news from Texas Frightmare. <laughs> Jessica's invested. You can see it in her face. Look at that. Yeah. I don't even remember how they I never do remember how they beat him at the end as adults good night darling thank you for being here and happy Halloween For the channel, much love. Happy Halloween. Have you all seen Terror Train Reboot? And it's sequel on Tubi. In my opinion, the reboot and sequel doesn't come close to the original. I didn't even know that they did a reboot or a sequel to Terror Train. Um, the original Terror Train with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis and uh, David Copperfield, to me, is the only... Uh, Terror I train that I, I really care about, really. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd watch the other ones. I remember but... that was pretty bad. What's that? The the new terror train on Tubi. I didn't even know they made a new one. Or, uh, when did it come out? I I don't I don't know. I remember seeing something about uh, I think on Twitter about it. Right, Michelle. <laughs> well that's creepy chad right tramp stamp we're looking at it's like the most like interesting part of the movie two hours and five right. minutes in they're beating the crap out of pennywise with a baseball bat who's turning into well dare Lobster? i say huh no, they're like lobster <clears throat> legs with a spider Oh, I can see it as lots or spider leg, sure. Hmm. So we are going to be doing a well. This is, there's a couple movies that are coming out that we're actually really, really excited about. And we just got noticed today that we got two advanced screenings coming next week. What I mean by that, um, a lot of times, a lot of times, whenever movies are set to come out, even before a trailer happens, or even before much is actually said about the movie, uh, we get the opportunity 
to view the movie. It's almost like a test screening for the studios. We've done quite a few of them. We can never really talk about them. We can't really tell you what they are, but we can actually go and see the movie during the test screening with studio execs and um, tell them what we think. And we have two of them coming up within the next like two weeks. I'm like, Brad S says, do you ever do screen. paranormal investigations? Uh, no, we really don't. Um, if you go back and you type in any kind of paranormal investigations in the history of the channel, we really don't. Uh, we're no strangers to it. And I can't say, I'm not going to say that they don't happen in the future, but this is not a paranormal investigation channels we're not a ghost hunting channel where every video is we find a ghost somewhere um but you may see a ghost hunting video coming soon ish you never know something haunted something spooky my lips are sealed thank you thank mr, you, mr. Pellin. Pelon E805. It's a horror adventure channel. I like that. Mm -hmm. We have not seen Skinamarink yet. No, I, I completely forgot that it existed. Yeah, I keep forgetting <clears throat> about I'm that. I'm not going to say never say never, Henry. I'm just going to say that you will never, this is no. never going to be a paranormal Same. investigating channel where it's, it's all we do is go ghost hunting. No. Not going to be that, and we might dabble in it here and there. Might talk them into doing an episode or two to have funsies, yeah. but I don't. We're never gonna. That's never gonna be our bread and butter, you know. Or you might end up seeing us on another channel that does ghost Dude, hunting every now and doodles then. and drawings. We have Just the saying. opposite problem. They ask. They said, "I love all your videos, guys, but do you ever run out of ideas for videos or struggle with it?" No, we have such a long bucket list that half the time what we're struggling it with is what to do first. Yeah. Long bucket list. Lewis, you have seen the picture of the ghost. Oh. Have a good night, uh, Reverend Stace. David Michael, for our store, when it does open, you can use your credit card. You could use PayPal. Um, I think it has multiple options, if I do recall. Pop my toe. Toe popper. No, nope, just one. None in the foreseeable future, Chris. Store opens... The first night, week man. of February. What are the typical shipping rates for the store? There are really no typical shipping rates for the store because it really depends on what you're buying and where you live. Mm -hmm. It is all calculated through the website itself, which goes directly through the United States Postal System. I don't calculate it. I don't set anything. Whoa, 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 I don't whoa, touch whoa. the shipping at all. And that's all done by itself. Brian, my friend. Dude. Thank you for what you guys do. First off, thank you very much for saying that. And I'm, we're very happy you like that. I really appreciate the history and also the spooky things you do. Please keep doing what you, you do. You made my face turn red. Thank you so much. We are going to keep doing videos until we absolutely physically cannot. Oh, we'll gum we'll gum you videos. I will. Hi, this is the Grim Life Collective. I, you know what? I will take you with me to the dentist so we can follow my journey into getting dentures and then have more fun time videos. That's with, what that's what's going to happen. With all seriousness, the, the videos are not going to end. Whether you guys watch them or not, they're not going to end. You they're going to be here family. until we can't do anymore. So thank you for, yeah. for even just being here. And, and the fact that you did that speechless. Wow. Thank you. Um, but seriously, thank you. Um, that's a long question, Lee. Lee the machine Bowers, which I'll, also I'll Bowers in this. You um, follow it better than I do. If okay, <laughs> I'm, st I'm, I'm kind of at a loss for words. Um, Lee the machine Bowers, thank you very much as well. Thank you so much. 
If they did Halloween four part two and disregard Halloween five, Rachel, Rachel's alive. And well, would y'all watch being back Jamie and Rachel and age the H four mask? Like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> There's so many things happening in that question. I'm not sure. I'm so, so think, sorry. So there's a rumor about doing Halloween 4 Part 2. Halloween 5 will be disregarded. Jane, uh, Rachel is alive, which I guess Brian, is her, sis, her daughter. Brian, 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 and Brian, 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 Brian. Would Brian. We My brain is hurting Brian. Jamie and Rachel being back, and they would age the mask back to the 8 Halloween 4 instead of continuing with it Brian, for Brian, Part Brian, 5. Brian, Brian, Does that Brian, make Brian. sense? Thank you, Brian. Like it, it's accepted, and I mean, I yeah. promise you, it'll go to good, go to good use, and go into the gas tank to bring more views, more, more videos. Um, just, I didn't like the wow. ending either. I didn't like the ending of the Halloween series. I, I didn't like the last couple of movies so much. Um, it. I I personally I personally like that the Halloween movies are such a mess timeline wise. That they've tried so many times to do this or do that, and then it fails, and they go back and they do something else. That things don't make sense, things don't line up. I, I love that it's 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 a mess. It creates it such is like a mess. mysteries, such like yeah, it, it, conspiracy theories. It leaves completely everything open, and it's an online store. We don't have a brick and mortar. I love it. You know what? Just keep Alice. Adding you better more. be dressing as Wednesday. To to the the Halloween timeline because why not just make it a, a complete mess? I don't see why not. You guys, every single one of you who are here tonight. I know we're in very rare form. We had a pretty amazing day. We're all jazzed up. We're man. jazzed up. We're tired at the same exact we're time. Um, we got some. Maybe it's the uranium. <laughs> maybe we Don't have been that, poisoned. Please. Please. Leave the machine, Bowers. Sorry, I'm in my own little world. <laughs> Would you all be on board if they did a proper sequel to H4? Much love. Sorry for my nonsense. No, I, I got does. it. I was following. <laughs> I think I was doing. I think I was doing a pretty good job at deciphering here. Uh, I not just I H, speak gibberish. not just <laughs> H four, but I would. I would really like them to see if they could do a continuation of each of the individual stories. So that'd be cool. I was. I would love to see if they did like a prequel to the Halloween three storyline. Well, not even that. With the masks and stuff, but like. And and th this is this is gonna sound. Thank you, Devin. Thank you. I feel heart. like I, I feel like I know the answer to this, but I, at the same exact thank time, you, Lee, and thank you, Brian. I have never went on 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 Google. Thank you, Devin. I've never mm -hmm. Googled the answer to this to find out no. for certain. To me, I've always accepted what I'm about to say as truth, but it could just be a fan theory. I've never read it personally, but I've heard it. And I've kind of taken it to to be believed, and and some of you guys are gonna either laugh at me or, or confirm this. No. When it comes to Halloween three, I would always believed that they made Halloween one, they made Halloween two, and then Halloween three mm. was supposed to be a certain direction that they were planning on going. Like Halloween four would be another part of the Halloween mythos, the Halloween story. Halloween five would be something, but Halloween three didn't do too well because it didn't have Michael Myers in it. So they scrapped that idea and Halloween four came with Michael well, Myers. Isn't in there it. Like I a... always knew that as, um, as truth, but I, I've never really confirmed it. Isn't there, wasn't there like a deleted scene at the end of Halloween three, which basically tied it his mask though. Like it was almost like an origin story of his mask. <laughs> Not really. No, I thought there was, or maybe there, there was a fan edit. The silver shamrock. There's always been yeah. that, like that, that, that fan theory that Michael Myers, his, his mask, mask had the silver shamrock. And so whenever they, they did uh, David Gordon greens, uh, they're, 
a lot of people are thinking, oh, how cool would it be if the very last shot was behind Michael Myers and you saw the silver shamrock oh. medallion on it? Um, but I always believed yeah, it should, that, that it was going to be an anthology series, like Halloween 4. Well, it might have been about like witches instead of the mask or trick or treating. Oh, okay. And then, but it just didn't go that well because people wanted Michael. They wanted the mask. Yeah. So I, I don't know where that came done from. All of that and kept him in like the background of the stories. Like, th- like this is Michael's story that's already happened, right? And these are all the stories happening around him that intercede with him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they could have shown the kids in the masks running around trick or treating, right? And they run right past him. Or something like that. But I don't think people would watch it for that. I think they 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 want the kill scenes. I think that's why a lot of people... That's why Jason has done so well. Freddie, Michael, all of so them. Harris is, has, is for the kill scenes, I think. Uh, John Carpenter said it was supposed to be an unrelated story about the Halloween holiday. Michael, you're absolutely correct. I don't remember where I got that. I just... I, I have oh, no I'm clue sorry, where I got Cyrus, it. Cyrus, but... sweetheart. My condolences. Originally, each Halloween film was going to be its own story. They made Halloween 2 with Michael Myers because of the success of the first film. Gotcha. Gotcha. <sighs> uh, okay, that was a fan edit. Okay. I thought it was like a deleted scene I'd happened upon or something. That was a really good fan edit. Jeez. Honk and honk and honk. See what I mean? It's such a mess. Carpenter That's what said makes that it beautiful. He never wanted Michael to continue <clears throat> from part one. Okay. 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 All right, folks. I actually really like two. I like that one a lot. Two, the nurse scene is is brutal. I love brutal. the hospital part of it. I don't know why. I think it's great. Yeah. I'm just very happy that Josh Hartnett. Well, don't even get me started on that one. Halloween H two O. Yeah, Josh Josh Hartnett or 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 Buster Rhymes or I mean that, we, okay we, that we, one was fun though. Come or, on, or, that was like so perfectly nineties <laughs> odds. Like that was just like Chef's Kiss to the era. Oh like, my gosh. Chef's kiss to the air at the time it came out and was so perfect. I loved it. With that being said, it is that time. Yeah. This was a long one. And whenever you get long ones like this, you kind of go back and forth. Two hours and 14 minutes of, of it. And then we went a half an hour ahead of that. So it was almost like two hours and 45 minutes. Um, It's been good. Lee yeah. the Machine Bowers. There was to be an alternate end to ends where the ending takes place at the Shamrock factory and you see Michael's mask coming off the assembly line. Sean got one of the masks. Gotcha. I, I thought there was supposed to be. I, yeah. Again, chalk it up to We're everything. Such know. a mess when it comes to the Halloween mm. season. That is what makes it amazing. Yeah. Thank you guys. Until next time. What if they reboot the whole series? <laughs> Again. 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 Start it from number one. Reboot. You know what I want? I uh, all right. Screw Halloween. Yeah. Done with it. Yeah. Screw Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm done with it. Screw well, no Friday the Thirteenth. I'm done with it. Mm-hmm. I want mm-hmm. another Freddy versus Jason, or Freddy versus Michael, or Freddy versus Ash, Jason versus Ash. Well, I want another movie like have that. Have I had one where there's been all three? No, no, no. Mm-hmm. I want another versus movie. That's what we want. Well, they didn't. The someone was saying in the chat that the Jason versus Leatherface. The Bring it. the what's it? The the lawsuit just ended. But we don't know what the outcome's going to be from it. I want Jason versus Mickey Mouse, <sighs> or you know what, Freddy versus Art the Clown. Bring it. I want something very unique, very fun, where you don't take it serious when you when it comes on screen. You're just rooting okay, for like, whatever happens. Can, That's what we can need. we leaving this on a high note. Can we at least admit that Jason in space was kind of amazing? Jason X. Has like two of my f- most favorite kills in yeah. the Friday the Thirteenth movies. Okay, if 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 um if the if the Michael Myers with Buster Rhymes like so perfectly captured its decade that it was made in, Jason X perfectly captured the decade it was made in. Absolutely. So when it comes to Jason X, the one where he takes the. Uh, the the nurse lady and he he grabs her head and puts it in the 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 dry ice and then smacks yeah. her head off the thing yeah that one and then the simulation where he has the the girls in the uh 
the, the sleeping, um, bags. The sleeping bags and he's being i just it's it just it's amazing because it's the fun town. yeah how about this jason i thought it was fun jason versus the grim life collective oh god who would win we would of course we would of course i mean thank you for your vote of confidence but i'm just gonna stop drop kick him in the balls and run <laughs> but seriously like enough with like bringing them back this net let's mm. let's have another good royal rumble jason versus the dmv <laughs> the dmv right like a good royal rumble yeah you know horror icon video you know which we one need i it. really enjoyed uh the collector the collection those were good movies i think there's a third one the collector the collection the... <gasps> what was the third one i can't remember but but also the um the one with the wrestler and it see no evil see no evil, evil yeah those were good and i don't think those get any love i have on the tip of my tongue the answer to hollywood horror ready now you have to be careful here thank you lee because you, it's honey. pretty much the same person yeah but ready for it yeah leprechaun versus willow well, they, someone said Leprechaun versus Chucky. True that, but but it's like you know, it's like Warwick Davis. Yes, as himself. Leprechaun versus yeah. Willow playing himself. Oh, because yeah. Willow's got the cool magic. He's got the little stick, and he could bring in like by the powers of be. Here's Mad Mardigan. We don't Mad really watch any, we don't, We're not. We don't follow really any podcast, so that one's a difficult one, Jenny. Um, but things are getting but crazy. We will here. be on one coming up, actually. <laughs> Uh, talks from the crypt. Talks from the crypt is basically. We out of are going to be. It was like Chris, a three-hour-long podcast. So Chris says we are so authentic. I think he means we're just not right in the head. <laughs> I mean, Kylie, thank you. Love being a ghosty. Boo! Yay! Boo! Boo. Boo. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. It is that time. If we don't shut up right now, we're never going to leave. Oh, gosh, 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 gosh. We gosh, will gosh, save gosh, it for gosh. next time. Oh. And we hope to see you there. Or how about this? Save it for next time. No, no. Save it for next Friday time. Friday the 13th. Oh. Reggie. Um, the, the kid. Um, he, 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 he wore the, 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 the oh, gosh. Don't ask me. I never followed the Friday ah, the 13th. Ah, Reggie. Once. Red. Face is Reggie. The red hoodie. Friday the 13th. Which one is that? I don't know. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Anywho. Reggie the Reckless. Cha! From part five. Okay. Reggie the Reckless versus Harry Potter. Bam! <laughs> it just happens. All right. Have a good night. We are tired. It's been a blast. It's been T -T a great time. FN. We love you all. Toodaloo, Scooby-Doo. Next time. All that jazz. Bye.